Hello, folks, and hey, Bear. Welcome to the Nate Land Podcast. Sitting here with Dusty Slay, uh, Aaron Weber, and a new guest with Breakfast Little Breakfast. <laughs> Hello, <Eleanor>. folks. <laughs> Hello, folks. Hello. We got a little little visitor. <laughs> About a, it was a, roughly a year ago. It was exactly a year ago today that I revealed it. Yeah. Uh, in the record, November first when we recorded. Yeah. It. And uh, came out a few days later, but yeah, yeah. One year ago, I told you guys I was having my wife was having a baby, yeah. and there she is. Yeah. Here we are. I still don't believe it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at you, <laughs> good size. She's getting big. Uh, so yeah, she's doing great. She's doing great. We wanted Eleanor to say hi to everybody. Uh, the headphones are just for fun. So she yeah, yeah, she doesn't need them. <laughs> yeah, just people to go. She was born with those headphones on. Uh, all right, all right. We're passing her off to Abigail, uh, Eleanor. She was having put her out back in the car. And <laughs> bye, honey. Uh, what if it was a whole? He has no wife, no baby. And we're just <laughs> we're just going through it. You know, <laughs> gotta keep the charade going. Gotta keep the charade going. Nate paid to have a baby here. That's my yeah. baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Nate. Seriously, it could save you hundreds per year, guys. That's rocketmoney.com slash mate slash Nate. Are you wasting money on subscriptions? 80% of people have subscriptions they forget about. Rocketmoney.com slash Nate. Mizzen and Maine, dress up with ease. Any other dress shirt just won't feel as good. So if you want the best cold weather clothing this holiday season, check out Mizzen and Maine. Right now, if you go to MizzenandMaine.com and use promo code Nate, you'll receive $35 off any regular price order of $125 or more. That is $35 off when you go to M-I-Z-Z-E-N-A-N-D-M-A-I-N.com and use our promo code Nate. All right, life is busy, and your well-being is important. Athletic Greens makes it so easy to get the vitamins you need every day with just one scoop. <laughs> Athletic Greens has given you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Visit athleticgreens.com slash Nate for a free one-year supply of vitamin D and... Five free travel packs with your first purchase. That's athleticgreens.com slash Nate. There it is. Felt good. It Uh, feels good. I love an ad read. Yeah. Yeah. You look like a walking ad. Yeah. And (laughs) I would, yeah, I would think, you know, growing up, we grew up, you, you guys are four ads. Yeah. NASCAR, you know. Yeah. NASCAR is advertising. Is advertising. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, they yeah, really figured it out. They, they, it's almost so much advertising that it takes out the advertising. Like, you don't think about it. Whoa. Because yeah. it's just, it's that's what it is. Right. It's the bud car. It's the, you know. Mm-hmm. And you end up supporting the, whatever your driver is, you support whatever their <laughs> ad is. Yeah. Like, even my family would get into, like, Ford Chevy arguments if their driver drove a Ford versus their driver driving a Chevy. They act like Ford and Chevy has some kind of uh, investment in their lives. Yeah. Which one were you? Uh, we were always Ford. Oh, found on road mm-hmm. dead, huh? Yeah, or, or uh, first on race day <laughs> is what we would say. Fix on repair day. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, look at that. No, a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, there's a few. Fix or repair daily, that was one. Found on road dead. You said that, right? What was yeah, for yeah. Chevy? Uh, I don't know that we Nothing. had any. Yeah, it's tough to. Is yeah. it a long one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chevrolet is tough to. Yeah. I remember a lot of bumper stickers of the kid from Calvin and Hobbes peeing on the oh, Chevy yeah. logo. Yeah, there'd be mm-hmm. a lot of that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It felt like a bit much. <laughs> well, people like the cars, you know, and they. <laughs> it, it, it was a lot. I remember seeing a lot of that too. Yeah. People didn't want to see it. I'm so old. I remember. People who would not buy Japanese-made cars because of World War II. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I never heard Made that. Made in America, buddy. I, I mean, yeah. I always remember the support of Made in America cars, but yeah. I don't remember that because of World War II. That is intense. Oh, there's some people I know still alive that <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, my old one, I remember uh, the Elvis being alive, like the, the big conspiracy about that. 
Oh, I, I remember you, that. Okay, I thought you. Were I saying. mean, I don't know, like, like, you know, but I like, I distinctly remember it being like on Unsolved Mysteries or it's something. It's still or, like, going. It was. I know it's still going, but it was there was it was on like main TV. Like they were Izzy alive and all that kind of stuff. Like I, I do. I remember uh, a big debate. Now I feel like it would be, you know, a conspiracy or something. And but you'd have to read about it and be like, he almost he he could still be alive, but it would he'd be very old. But back then it was like, oh yeah, they were like, oh we think. I mean, I remember seeing on regular tv like they're showing mm-hmm. video of like him and yeah and florida or something or in hawaii or something i think it was uh jerry glanville football coach that would leave tickets at the game for elvis oh really he would leave two tickets at every home game for elvis just to come to the game and it was just like a thing he did I who's even, that jerry glanville yeah i think he uh he's a former football guy i think he maybe even coached the oilers yeah and the falcons and uh and I think that's right, that he would leave tickets for Elvis at the he game. He was a former NASCAR driver and the head coach of the Alabama Airborne of Major right. League Football. I, got, I guess wow. I got my guy wrong then. Well, I, I thought it was NFL. I may start leaving. I mean, the fact that you know Elvis. that guy and he coached at Alabama <laughs> the Airborne, Alabama Airborne of the Major League Football. <laughs> MLF. MLF. Well, I mean, I've never even heard you, of that. Will you Google who left tickets? Uh, it was Jerry Glanville. Uh, it was him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So That's I was like, just... He was the head coach of the Oilers from 85 to 89. You're okay. right. You would leave tickets oh. at Will Call well, that's weird for how they, Elvis Presley. Yeah. They kind of buried that in his Wikipedia yeah. page. I would lead with head coach of the Oilers. Well, maybe that's because yeah. he left the tickets that they were like, <laughs> let's kind of push this guy to the side here. <laughs> oh, Dusty, I got a new conspiracy theory for you. Okay. That I feel like you'll be on board with. I just heard this. So Tennessee has new license plates. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, you guys know that? They're yeah. all blue now. So you can get choose between one that says in God we trust and one that doesn't. It's very small. But once you get it, the plates look different. Like one of them has three letters and the other one has four and it's the makeup's different. And the conspiracy is they're the deep states trying to separate us to people who, you know, believe in God who don't. Oh yeah. yeah. Well that's not even a conspiracy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's well, uh yeah, that's a lot to bring in when you just had your baby in here. <laughs> and, well, yeah. she had the headphones on. Yeah, so. yeah, that's true. I mean, this, this is this is this is the opening. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> we get right in it. Here yeah. it is. It's a very small difference. Yeah, I yeah. don't see the. But they well, add in God we trust around the the uh, TriStar. Well, the ones that don't have it have three letters and then. Uh, four letters in the front and then three on the other side. Oh. That shows it the same, but that's not the case. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. We're getting into it. Yeah. <laughs> Deep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I just thought Dusty. I mean, oh, yeah, I mean, no, no, it's, yeah, yeah. it's interesting. Anytime yeah. I hear a conspiracy, I just want to tell Dusty about yeah. it. He usually he's already ahead of it. And... Well, no. I mean, I don't care for the new tags, but. Oh. I got one that has a bear on it. Yeah, see that right oh, okay. there. Oh, here you go. If you got In God We Trust, it's three on the left and then four on the right. But if you wow. don't, it's it's the the reverse. That is. Why would they do that? Well, they want to. That still seems to be the same. There. It still seems to be the same there. Yeah. Actually, when you look at it, yeah. what do you mean? Are the there unless there's letters that they put the let numbers on the left and then the numbers are on the oh, right? Okay, I see. Like, That's oh, still three man. and four. Yeah, I can't believe yeah. I just counted it wrong like that. Yeah. yeah. Wow, and you got that shirt on, Notre Dame shirt, on. <laughs> wearing it. You thought today, I, you know what? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you no hitter today. <laughs> and you get uh, wearing your Notre Dame shirt, get knocked out of the park immediately. <laughs> Just, I mean, you go. I tell you what, boys, Woo! I go record this game. I feel it, and then boom, immediately knocked out. Wow. All right, we'll dive into that later on in the news. Uh, <laughs> what's the weather today? Uh, Oh, oh, dude, this came up. So this is fun. A little uh, podcast history here. This is a video by Sonny V2. I guess he's some big YouTube guy. Mm -hmm. This video is 2.6 million views. It came out five days ago. He did an expose on Planet Fitness. Yeah. Two ways. Yeah, those are the only two ways. You have to physically come in to cancel your... Are you saying it's a guy? Oh. Oh, I'm giving him $10 a month. Oh, man. This <laughs> is yeah. great. Wow. Just to add a cherry there it is. There it's it just is. fun to be included in wow. that. Wow. So they put your video in there like yeah. it's, like you're, I mean, you are serious. Like a guy yeah. That, this is journalism. Yeah. yeah. And I'm a part of it. I'm a you're source. You're someone <clears throat> that saw the tornado. <laughs> That's what you look like. Yeah. Someone yeah. that they goes. This is the second say. thing you've showed me like that about you today, though. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm making mentioned. the rounds. I'm yeah. wearing an American flag shirt in this <laughs> yeah. video too. I do look like. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. This is how crisis actors start because they're like, that guy was in another video. Totally, yeah. 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 What did, uh, so like who's it. this person? This is a guy named Sonny V2. He just makes random, you know, about 10 minute videos yeah. about different topics. And he did one about how Planet Fitness became hated by the world. That's what it's called. So a bunch of people tagged me. And they wow. just include a clip of that video. It's so fun. It's not really hard to cancel. You just have to go in there. Yeah. yeah. Which was kind of the whole point of my video at how how easy it was ultimately yeah yeah it's it's yeah. people are i mean again i it's is a it's actually a great business model to be like we're fine with you canceling <laughs> yeah. just walk in the door <laughs> yeah and you're still like no yeah i'm not that's yeah. how lazy you are i mean maybe mm -hmm. the hope is even that you come in there smell a little gym air you may yeah. get motivated to work get out motivated they would have like yeah. Then we had, I don't even talk about. They had Pizza Fridays or something. There, I mean, they're doing stuff that's like, look, we don't even care. like mm -hmm. stay. Don't get healthy. Right. We're fine with it. Mm -hmm. Just come in and cancel, mm -hmm. and you just can't do it. I went to a gym the other day that was not a Planet Fitness, and I had not been into a gym like that in a long time. And I was like, whoa, these mm -hmm. people are really working out in here. <laughs> yeah. These people are in shape. Yeah. Was that in Phoenix? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think you shared that last episode. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a. I don't okay. remember that. Uh, I don't I know. I don't know. I listen to all your podcasts, so maybe it was a different one. Yeah, that's probably. You still it. have multiple podcasts? Yeah, I have another one that. I oh do. Yeah. yeah, you got three or four. Good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. I know, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's good, good to have everyone back. It's good. Yeah, we're all back. It is. Yeah. It is good to be back here. in the game. Yeah. Uh, let's start with the comments this week. Uh, David Brooks. While driving to work this morning, I was getting honked at and flashing bright lights on me. I got to my exit, and then they pulled up to my side door, rolled down their window, and just said, Hey, Bear. I just gave my hello, folks. We both laughed, and they made my day pretty sweet. All from a Nate Land podcast sticker on my truck. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. Thanks, folks. That's fun. All right. Uh, did uh, You know, I was thinking, when you flash lights at, uh, for a cop, like to see if a cop, do you flash your... High beams, or do you turn them off then on? What do you mean, flash them? Like, you I know, like if them. you're, yeah, like if you're saying, like, hey, there's a cop up here, slow, you're, you're warning to another car. Oh, okay, yeah. Like you just flash your high beams, right? Just do like three yeah. times. Maybe. Yeah, you don't turn them off then on. No. I yeah. flash like crazy. I hate when people, I, I got a ticket the other day. I hate it. What? Yeah, I flash like crazy. What were you doing? You just so speeding. Yeah. <laughs> But like on an open yeah. road, it's wide open. It's yeah. a four lane. There's not another car in sight. Yeah. How fast were you going? Uh, well, pretty fast. But, yeah. uh, this is but it's also like we're just out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. The guy's like, why are you in such a hurry? And I'm like, ah. Oh, man, I'm you know, in the going, middle of nowhere. I'm going downhill. And, <laughs> I'm going yeah. downhill. <laughs> yeah. Blame gravity. How much? Yeah. I don't know. What yeah. was the speed? Do you remember? Uh, well, this is the thing. It was about okay. 20 over. Wow. But it was about, I was about to hit a new speed limit zone, so it would have only been 10 over. <laughs> You're rushing you to get it. Cusp. Yeah, they yeah. caught you right on and the And it cusp. changes all the time on this road. It's yeah. 45, 55, 45, 50, yeah. like constant change. So you might as well just go 70 the whole way. Through. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. That could be set up like that. It's like, why do they set it up like that? Oh, those are speed traps. That's like yeah. a known thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they're trying to do that. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, they shouldn't be allowed to do that. That's what well, I say. That's all the whole town is funded, I'm sure. It's yeah. not speed traps. It's certain parts that are more dangerous oh, okay. and you, you slow down. Oh, you in the line. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well. yeah. Uh, <laughs> speed trap sympathizer. <laughs> yeah. Scab. <laughs> I like the- Well, God doesn't believe in gravity. He's using gravity as his argument, so- Well, yeah. I mean, downhill is downhill. I mean, <laughs> downhill is downhill. I didn't say gravity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what you should talk to him about. Yeah. I think you could get out of stuff. Yeah. If you just said, what are your thoughts on gravity? Typically, when I'm alone, I don't get a ticket yeah. if I get pulled over. But when I'm with other people, I almost always get a ticket. I've been pulled over with you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you get pulled over a lot. All the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> just a good amount. Huh? You're an yeah. aggressive driver. Yeah, I mean, but... Uh, you got places yeah. to go. Yeah. I people gotta, to see. Trying to the big one for us and growing up, Old Hickory... Uh, town lakewood is in the middle of old hickory and it doesn't really make sense mm -hmm. but <clears throat> they was a notorious that you everybody knew if you go down there they we i was just talking to my buddy philip 
and he said his mom should be slow down on Oak Boulevard, Boulevard. and uh, right over the bridge there, right? Uh, we were right when you get over the bridge. You, I'm talking about going the other way, but yes, yeah. right when you get over the bridge and start coming through Old Hickory, it would be the because Lakewood had their at one point they had their own police department, mm -hmm. so they're only policing like almost to that bridge to like Hermitage Golf Course. So I mean, they're every. I got tickets. My brother guys, everybody got tickets because they would. They didn't really have. There wasn't a ton, ton to do because it's yeah. like this police force that's not having to go that really that far. So you would just notoriously get tickets. Mm -hmm. Still has that reputation. Still, yeah. I like the idea of like flashing lights to let someone know a cop's there. There's like something kind of. Uh, I like. It's like a, it's you, the camaraderie you, among strangers. Yeah. It's the yeah. last great place in America. It was just a cross section of Sorry. every race, religion, <laughs> yeah. <and> the, <laughs> the interstate. It's the, the interstate. last great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful, Aaron. Angela Wade. I love. I love how every episode peels back another layer of dusty. So he's got the trailer park backstory. Uh, is a member of an HOA. Loves conspiracy theories. Listens to Taylor Swift's song "Shake It Off." And as a person of faith, I'm here for all of it more, please. Yeah, I mean, all those things are great. I'm not a huge Taylor Swift fan, but Shake It Off is yeah. a fun song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they all tie in. Yeah. yeah. I mean, these yeah. things are I'm all right. linked. Of all those, yeah, Taylor I'm Swift's right. probably the shakiest one there. Well, Shake uh, It Off. Shake It Off. Yeah, yeah. it is. I had to shake it off. <laughs> uh, Matt Fisher. Nate had given up. On love, but was on the dating app Bumble looking for a wedding date as a joke. In her opening line, she asked who my top three favorite comedians were, and you were the first name we both listed. We immediately bonded over our favorite Nate bits. Our first date was a local comedy show, and she was there the following week for my first open mic. I quickly realized I couldn't live without this woman, and we've been pretty inseparable ever since. Wow. Whoa. Wow. That's that awesome. is a that bold is move mm -hmm. bringing a second mm -hmm. date to your first open mic. Oh, yeah. Because I can guarantee it did not go <laughs> yeah. well. You know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, pretty sure it didn't go well. well it seems <laughs> Unless he brought all his friends that right. first one. I'd like to know who the seemed other two on the list were. Yeah. It might have gone well, but it wasn't good. Yeah. You know the difference? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the difference. Well, that's, uh, that's awesome. Congrats. He uh, should share the other two comedians of both of them so we can judge yeah so we can judge their their picks i was good with just the top one yeah i mean top one yeah i mean that that obviously well that gallagher yeah that right was, uh, yeah what if it went nate gallagher <laughs> um and i don't even know i don't know who's paula your... poundstone yes yes <laughs> people are like well what and happened then, here and then she's like oh my gosh <laughs> that is mine too yeah i mean then you're like well y'all should get married yeah after we talked about that ranker thing for favorite our best clean comedian. <laughs> at one time, all four of us were at the top four. Oh, all yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. We made it. Uh, congrats, Matt, and uh, your lovely lady. Uh, Kaylee Lund. Ka Kayla. Ka Kayla Lund. Kayla. That's a tough one. I go to movie theater. It's just K A L A, but it's hard. Kala. Kala. Maybe. Could be Kala Lund. Uh, I go to movie theaters just to get popcorn. They often ask me for my ticket. I say, I'm just here for popcorn. Dusty, I know how much you love popcorn. Have you tried this very fun way to elevate a movie at home? So, wait, so you go to the movie theater and just buy popcorn? Yeah. Wow, that seems intense and expensive. Yeah, but it, I think she's going for a vibe. And the vibe when she goes home is like, you got real popcorn from home. So then you watch the movie at home. I mean, I do love popcorn, but I pop it in the skillet. You know, I pop it on a pan mm -hmm. at home. Yeah. And um, put let's say Kyle, I mean, so what if she doesn't believe in microwaves either? So yeah. that's why she does well, it. Well, I, I respect it. Yeah. I've never tried this, but um, maybe I will. Yeah. We'll we talked about it. this before. My old roommate used to do that. He'd stop by the movie theater on the way home and just mm -hmm. get a large bucket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Is that roommate's name Aaron? <laughs> Chris Nicholas. It would be great to have Nate's movie review as a weekly segment. Mm -hmm. I think we're already yeah. there. We're already there. I'm trying to think. We'll watch The Ledge. Well, I just talked about The Ledge last week. I didn't watch anything last night. Uh, did I? No. 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 I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to think. I did I watch something? This is the I segment. This is the oh, I started watching uh the new scream again. Okay. Yeah. 
right. Yeah. I started yeah. watching it. You're never going to watch Shawshank, huh? Uh, yeah. I see it on sometimes, and it's like... You can't watch it on TV. You got to watch yeah. it on Go yeah. for that something. You yeah. should watch it, though, just for your own enjoyment. And you could continue to say you've not seen it, but yeah. just for your own... I, it would be... I don't. I yeah. This I, is your Planet Fitness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's gonna be. Years. If we can, we can watch it one day. Maybe we'll all watch it, okay. and then, uh, you know, we could critique it. We could critique. We could do a breakdown, and, and we could all go. Oh, you got to watch this part. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. watch this part. Hey, Nate, really Nate, watch this. Nate, yeah, watch yeah. this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a chance I'm all, It's going to be the best ever. I yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah. but I just yeah. haven't seen it. Okay. But Scream, uh, <laughs> luckily I already forgot it, so I don't remember who the killer is. I think I do know, and so I, rec- I didn't finish it, and I got to record it. I'll wrap through it again tonight. Cat uh, Rockwell, curious if there's a difference between dirty and crude in comedy. Um, I, I don't really think so. I mean, I don't know what those words really mean. I think you if you're doing I mean? one, you're probably doing the other. Yeah. I mean, I guess crude could be you're just mean, mean-spirited. But, but there are plenty of guys that are – you know cursing because that's how they talk but they're not talking about anything yeah yeah that's crude yeah uh no comic would just say that someone's a crude comic crude is it would be a word that someone would use to describe comedy that's not into comedy that's true they would be like i don't like it because i feel like it's very crude but a comedian would just say dirty you're not dirty Mm -hmm. that'd be it uh nathan martin my mom was at cole's the craziest she worked at cole's my mom worked at cole's (laughs) (laughs) the I just say he is. My mom worked at Kohl's. It's like you saw the W in work, and you're like, all right, well, we're done with that. We're was. done. We're going to is. My mom is currently at Kohl's right now. Uh, she worked there. The craziest return she ever had was when a guy returned a pair of jeans because they were dirty, torn, and stretched out. He wanted to exchange them for a new pair. They were in that condition because he had worn them for about six years. My mom's manager told her to do the change because the customer is always right. He got new pants for free. Wow. This was definitely years ago because that's not how returns are working these days. I tried to return some – I told you this already, but I tried to turn some oil to Walmart, Mm -hmm. some cooking oil, and they would not let me do it. Yeah. So that was when I knew times had changed. Yeah. But I think – but – I think Target's still pretty crazy. They're pretty good about it. Oh, yeah. I think that was more of a you thing. Maybe. Uh, I was too nice about it. I should have went in yelling. I don't know if that was it either. But it was, <laughs> it was you. It was all, you know. But you think that... They, the whole but, package But you would think in. that they would be sympathetic and go, you know what, let's exchange this oil for this guy. Yeah. This I think guy. they think you're just trying to scam them. Like, this guy didn't buy this oil here. Look at him. Yeah. That's uh, some yeah, oil. They, he worked they, on the car. Did you have the receipt? No. No receipt. Just not, walked no. in with a with what was it? Several gallons of <laughs> yeah frying oil. It's yeah. probably a hazard. <laughs> well, yeah. they were like, "You can exchange it for other oil." Yeah, we'll we, let you bring this oil back and get different oil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't even need the money. I just want you know. I don't need the oil. I want to get rid yeah. of this oil? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why did what made you buy so much oil? Well, I was going to host Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, they, that's right. That's right. I that's think right. we're just going to host Thanksgiving. Yeah. Now and use the oil. Oh yeah, so well, that was last. Well, oh, they were really? looking out for you in the yeah. end. So old can go that long. Who knows? We'll find yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be an interesting thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't believe they did do that. Cole's like, how long has Cole's been around? Feels like it's been forever, but I, I don't. Remember. It wasn't. I wasn't a kid. I don't remember it. It just like popped up, and then it's like that's all anybody talks about now. Yeah, Everybody's I think going it to was. Coles. I feel like it was the nineties, kind of when it took off. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Nick Hellman. Up until my junior year of high school, one of our men's bathroom had two toilets in one stall. No divider or anything. Those two toilets were also the only toilets in that bathroom. It was not uncommon to walk into the bathroom and see four feet in the stall. This was 2017. Wow. <laughs> wow. One of our men's bathrooms had two toilets in one stall. Golly. You got to really want to go. They would just go in there together. Huh? <laughs> Someone ripped that stall, the middle yeah. thing out. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess they, you know, you're in. I mean, I even in when I was heavy drinking, I don't, I would not have shared a stall <laughs> like <laughs> that. Yeah. Well, what are you talking about? Standing, feet standing. I mean, that's one thing, but feet sitting. I think they were standing. It's like, it's always saying four feet in this thing is they're standing. 
But I mean, you'd still see the feet. Yeah, it, they could they were sitting. Be sitting. No, I know, but I don't think they're. But you can see them when they're standing. So your this argument's kind of going nowhere. Uh, just to say, it was just very funny for y'all to say. Well, you can still see them when they're sitting. You go, I know, but you can see them when they're standing as well. But they could be sitting. It depends. If, they could be, but I doubt. Da- I'm just going off. Oh, I like, doubt it. I doubt it too. Yeah. Okay. No, I think he's implying they're sitting. No, 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 no. There's no way. Those two toilets were the only two in that. It was not uncommon to walk into that and see four feet in the stall. I don't. Well, that's not even that weird then. I mean, that's the same as a urinal. Well, the stall door is shut, so it yeah. is going to be, you're going to be shocked by it a little bit. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Nick, we need a follow up. Yeah. I mean, are they standing at one toilet? We don't even know what's going on here. Nick, f- clear this up yeah. for us. Y'all are reading into it more than it should <laughs> yeah, have been. Okay. You know. So Kohl's opened in 1927 <laughs> as a grocery store, and then in 1962 they opened their first department store. Wow. So they've been around since the they've 60s. Been around for a while. It's now the largest department store chain in the U.S. Mm, good for them. What do you think made them switch from grocery to clothes? I think wow, well the brand name the of carries old. so much weight now. <laughs> The amount of oil that was being returned. Yeah, yeah. The, the likes of you. What do you think Kroger could just go? You know what? We're, we're doing clothes now. I bet they could. They yeah, could. They could. It'd be tough to buy some Kroger pants. I've had a few. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Chase Schubert. The reason people often need to get air in their tires around the same time is because of the change in barometric pressure often overnight. So in the atmospheric, <laughs> what? <laughs> atmospheric. Yeah. Ah, atmospheric. right. Pressure changes. Enough overnight tire pressure can suddenly drop by five or six PSI. So when people get in their cars to go to work, they suddenly have low pressure warnings that they didn't have before, and they all converge on the same few air pump stations. Hmm. He's saying over in the morning. I didn't, I'm not doing this in the morning. I don't wake up. I'm not like running. Talk about when I went and got air. Yes. That makes sense. But I'm I'm going at like, you know, the middle of the day. Mm-hmm. I'm not up there. It's not like a boom. I'm not I'm not in morning traffic usually is what I'm saying. Right, right. But but I'm in my own I'm in my own world of traffic. <laughs> so would the move be to overfill your tires to account for this change in bear in uh in pressure? Mm, probably not. I, I say ride it out to the next season. Yeah. Let it fill back up. You ever see like cause you cause you're <laughs> when you get on a different sleep cycle, you're around different people. So you see people that are on your sleep cycle. Yeah. There's not a lot, not that many suits that I see. <laughs> it I is funny. You don't see a That's lot of funny. ties, yeah. right? When yeah. I stay at a hotel, I'm usually, you know, if I hit the breakfast, I'm there at like 930 or something. And then sometimes I'll get up at like 6 or 7 a.m. And I think I'm going to beat everybody to the breakfast. Yeah. And I get down there and that's when everyone is there. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm like, where, where have yeah. these people been? Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> When you work at a like I worked at a TV station that has three shifts because they're spelled open. dusty. <laughs> <laughs> I got fire correctly, but <laughs> oh, I thought you were writing a joke down. I am writing a joke yeah. down. I'm joking. Uh, I just thought of the, when I worked the TV station that has three shifts, um, I mean, you wouldn't if you worked. You would always see one shift, but you wouldn't because they would come in. There was some overlap. Yeah. But whenever I would change shifts, because I worked overnights, I worked mornings or days, and I worked nights, you would work all of a sudden people that had been there for years that you'd never known. And all of a sudden, you are you got a whole new group of coworkers, a whole new group of friends. Wow, yeah. The different world. Yeah. Uh, Alex Mewitt, Mowit, the we, they thing, when talking about sports actually, has been named. I'm not sure of the academic acceptance of it, but I learned from pr- Professor Berg and Korf, Berg slash Burging, oh, maybe Burge, Burge and slash Burging is basking in relatively glory. Reflective. Reflective, basking in reflective glory. We kicked their butt. And Korf slash Korfing is cutting off reflective failure. They couldn't get it together today. I'd rather not watch sports. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't I have no idea what this is. So about. those are well, acronyms he's saying. Yeah. So basically, we've had debates about can you call it we when you're talking about your team or whatever. In, oh. in fact, the Kevin Nealon episode, we talked about that a little bit. But he's saying there's an actual term, 
scientific term, I guess. Berg is when you, and I do this, when Vanderbilt's doing great, I'm like, man, we are having a great, and then when they start doing bad, which is most of the time, I'll be like, these guys just, <laughs> they're terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. They could, yeah. You say we. When we're doing well, you say we. When the yeah. team's doing well, and then they bad, you say they. they yeah. I feel like this could have been done without Berg or Korf. This yeah. could have been explained without that. Well, that's the, the whole point of the message is that there's a term for it. They go, oh, you're burging right now. <laughs> is that what you would say to someone? Kind of like, they go, we, like we won today. And they go, well, don't quit being a burger. Yeah. And then you're like, well, they lost. And you're like, all right, now you're a court. Now you're court for me. All court for the yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't support it. I got this jacket on. This is uh, John Augustine gave it to me. It's a Vanderbilt. It's like a. It's a captain's jacket or something. Like it's, or no, it's something. It's special. Anchors up. Anchors right. up. He told me what it uh, means, and I'm blanking on it right now. But I know it means a lot to him. Okay. And I own it now. That's cool. Yeah. So there's not. It's a one on one. They don't really. You don't. Can't go get this. Hmm. That's the point of it. Uh, no one made it for me. <laughs> and I have uh, John's body type. Yeah. <laughs> now you're basking in his reflected glory. I'm basking in <laughs> his reflective glory. Yeah. Yes, Relative. we did do very yeah. good. Yeah, they're struggling now, though. But <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how you would say it. Mm-hmm. Mary Linda Thu is laughing at your own jokes while performing a normal thing that just happens, or if it's more com- commonly a stalling technique. My husband and saw a well-known comedian perform, and during the show, he laughed hysterically at his own joke maybe two or three times. It really threw me <laughs> off. I have some it. ideas of who you saw. I don't, <laughs> I don't dive in the weeds of it, but I'm not a fan. Uh, I don't know. I laugh at my own jokes sometimes, but not hysterically. No, no. Yeah, you can look. I, I, I'll have little like like little moments of laughter. I'm kind of laughing at how good the joke is yeah. doing. Like you, la- you laugh at like you can get kind of surprised by like, man, that guy's laughing hard. And you kind of <laughs> laugh, and you you're you're just enjoying it. I'm doing the opposite. Yeah, I'm laughing at, <laughs> at how badly the joke is. Yeah, <laughs> I'll throw a laugh in there. Yeah, so th- you could have little stuff, but when when a comic does it where it's hysterically and they can't get through the joke, like if they're slapping the microphone on the knee, that's yeah. too much. Right. Yeah. Well, it's like yeah, if they can't, it's there's no way you just tell these jokes every day. I've I've been, I've I've laughed. I've never been enough where I can't get through a joke. That's insane. Uh, <laughs> I, I I don't even that's I, I I would yeah it would it's I would go as far as to say it's impossible. There's no way I broke out into some laughs on some riffs before yeah. something that I had never said before yeah and I was even like amazed that those words came out of my mouth yeah I was like oh that is funny and I don't know where it came from yeah, it's you genuine were a yes. you're genuinely laughing yes and so like it's some comics can do it and it's kind of a performance kind of thing where they're doing it to like be like I can't get to, you know yeah but it's there there there's <laughs> Yeah, they can get through the joke. Yeah. They told the joke every night. If you go watch them, go watch them multiple. They do it every show. <laughs> so you tell me every night you're like, God. you go through the whole tour and you're like, hey, you know, I never made it through that one joke. <laughs> I just I could not get it. It's such a funny idea that I never could get. It. But you, yeah, if you laugh, you can be caught off guard. I can like I can laugh. I can hear someone laughing and they're laughing super hard and that makes me laugh. It's like the it's a sound of joy that you're like, man. And then, yeah, or if you say something kind of funny, like off, you riff it, and then you yeah. kind of laugh. But it's a very genuine kind of laugh. But yeah, not being able to get through you know, it. Actors say it's harder to fake laugh than fake cry. To yeah, really I would imagine. fake laugh well, mm-hmm. like Steve Carell does it great in The Office. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone says like that. That is such a skill nobody talks about. Julia Louis Dreyfus is great at it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, man, she is. Uh, Taylor Driver. At the end of our group therapy session, oh boy, uh, no, I'm joking. The, I'm good that better help. At the end, at the end of our group therapy session, we went around the room to say something we were looking forward to. The lady next to me said she was looking forward to seeing Nate Bargatze. I said, "In December." She nodded her head and asked, "Are you going to?" I'll be there. I replied. Unfortunately, we didn't talk about it more afterwards because everyone there has problems with anxiety, but comedy still brought us together in a way. That's, that's awesome. nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Come on out. That's y'all are going. I'll be there. That's great. <laughs> you know, I don't think you got to worry about it. I mean, how much would y'all more y'all would have talked about it? Right. You know? Yeah. You, you kind of did it. I yeah. mean, they, yeah, y'all could go. Oh, maybe I'll see that you did exactly what it was. and Organize a ride together. 
Uh, well, that's good. Do you like, want to do that? I, I'm anxious here, just hearing about that. <laughs> and like you go, you're not gonna. But I mean, I think they did it. You know, Donna, yeah, all right, go on, I'll be there. All right, there we, we go. We talked about this yesterday. As you get older, you just start. You just stop caring about you know the small talk stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And what would they have talked about? Where are you gonna park? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna get popcorn. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna get mine at the movie theater. <laughs> I find the older I get, the more I'm into small talk. Like, let's don't go deeper than that, but let's yeah. let's small talk it. Mm-hmm. Driving around the country, with Dusty, the amount of times you get shut down by strangers trying yeah. to small talk them is is astronomical. Oh yeah, yeah. Just every gas station. Hey, how y'all doing today? Fine. Oh, oh they yeah. shut you down. Oh, oh yeah. 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 yeah, all the time. Yeah, I love it though. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Are you wasting money on just like that? <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> just like that. That's perfect. <laughs> Are you wasting money on subscriptions? 80% of people have subscriptions they forget about. I've got one. I've uh, been paying, I think, $23, $29 a month for Adobe because over a year ago, Aaron gave me some lessons. I've never once done it. I don't know how to do it. It was over my head, but I'm still paying for it because I keep waiting to go back over Aaron's house and get him to show me how to do it again. Um, but anyway, <laughs> you don't have. I don't have to do that, guys. There's an easy way for me to, to cancel the subscription. Uh, most Americans think they spend around eighty dollars a month of subscriptions. You know how much they actually spend? No, more two hundred, hundred fifty, three fifty, two hundred plus. Right. That's right. You could be wasting hundreds of dollars each month on subscriptions. You don't two hundred dollars even... a month. That's crazy. Yeah. According, according wow. to this, wow. <laughs> <laughs> according to uh, Rocket Money, that's the app <laughs> I I love using. Guys, it takes care of me when I'm out there. It's called Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. The app, sh- the app shows all your subscriptions in one place and cancels what you don't want for you. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for. You may even find out that you've been double charged for a subscription. That's mm-hmm. happened to me before. I got a subscription I'm eyeing right now. It's about to be at renewal, and I'm really thinking over it. You want to share? No. All right. <laughs> Cancel <laughs> unnecessary subscriptions with Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Nate. Seriously, guys, it could save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash Nate. Oh, man, we love missing the main dress shirts. With how much we travel, it's nice to have a shirt that you can just ball up, throw it in the suitcase, put your shoes on top of it. You don't care because it's not going to get wrinkled. It's amazing to not to have to go to the dry cleaner. That's why you got to check out Miz and Maine, the inventors of the performance fabric dress shirt. They combine the comfort and flexibility of your favorite athletic wear. It's like you're playing golf, but you look like you're going to a wedding. Light, <laughs> sorry, lightweight, breathable, and moisture wicking. Miz and Maine's clothing will have you looking great. They really are great shirts. I mean, look, I sound like I'm joking around, but I'm a big fan of these products. I can tell you firsthand, they are actually the best shirt dress shirts that I've ever worn. So if you want the best cold weather clothing this holiday season, check out Mizzen and Main right now. If you go to MizzenandMain.com and use promo code Nate, you'll get $35 off any regular price order of $125 or more. That's $35 off when you go to, spell it with me, M-I-Z-Z-E-N-A-N-D-M-A-I-N.com and use our promo code Nate. All right, our next partner has a product that we have started using every day. We all started taking Athletic Greens because none of us eat very well. But we are all looking for simple ways to try to be more healthy. This is a great start to the morning. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. The taste is great, and it's easy to make and drink quickly. One scoop of powder with water, shake, and drink. The travel packs are great for when any of us are on the road. You can easily pour into a bottle of water. Mm. Contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything. Supports better sleep quality and recovery, and also mental clarity and alertness. It's cheaper than getting all the different supplements yourself. It costs less than $3 a day. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and help your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into the flu and cold season. It's just one scoop in a cup of water every day. That is it. 
<laughs> no need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash Nate. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash Nate and take ownership over your health and pick up ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Man, that was beautiful. (laughs) That was beautiful. That's fun. Yeah. All right. This week. Well, can I share something about? uh, All right. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Do we have time? Yeah. yeah. So the shirts, uh, Soldier Child Foundation. Nice. So every year uh, for the last four years, I've played in this Reno Collier, who's a very funny comedian. We all know him. He opened for many years yeah. for Larry the Cable Guy. He always calls. Very funny. Yeah. He always calls and says, we need celebrity golfers to play in this thing. And every year the same thing happens. I get out there and the group is so disappointed <laughs> because obviously no one knows who I am. Every year, I'm not even the most interesting guy in our group. There's always someone who has something. There's a guy who sold ads for the newspaper who they were more interested in me. So yeah, then wow. they think, <laughs> well, you must be a good golfer then. And then I tee it off, and I hit it 50 yards to the women's tees, and they're like, oh, for yeah. two. Yeah. You think they think that, though? I just think, why is he out here then? If he, if he doesn't, if no one knows who you are, and when you Google me, because they said they Googled me, it comes up I'm a musician. So they thought I sang. <laughs> I think you just got to come in hotter than that. You got to come in with some attitude. Can you imagine but just <laughs> him singing? <laughs> and you got to go, no, you go watch him do comedy, but now you got to go watch him with a guitar and he sings. You're like, good. No, <laughs> Country crooner, Brian Bates. <laughs> he walks out. <laughs> uh, and then they think, well, because it's always a bunch of, Great guys, drunk, you know, just want to have a good time. So they're like, well, that's okay. We'll just have some beer and have some fun. You ready for a cold one? I'm like, well, I don't really drink. And they're like, oh, God, this guy. <laughs> this guy is, so dude. to make it matters worse, this year I'm out and there. And I have allergies. And they're like, <laughs> yeah. oh, my goodness. <laughs> so they're like, what is this guy? So to make it even worse, the group in front of me, their celebrity, Larry the Cable Guy. Wow. So I've never met Larry the Cable Guy. I see him standing there waiting to tee off. Very unassuming. No one's bothering him. He's got his hat down. He's got his sunglasses on. So I go over to him, and he could not have been nicer. He was just incredibly nice, and just I'm like I'm a big. Fan. He's like I'm a big fan of yours. I mean, just so super nice. Could have been nicer. And as often the case with any celebrity comedian I make, I quickly name drop Nate. And I'm about to say, you know, Nate and I were just talking on the podcast about how you're. He says you're a good golfer. And uh, I say, Nate and I were talking on the podcast. And before I can even say any more, he said, man, I'm a big fan of Nate's. Uh, I'd love to meet him sometime. And I'm like, oh, you never met him? And he's like, no, I'd love to. And I was like, you should be on the podcast. And he's like, I love that. He said, let's exchange phone numbers, you know, to make it happen. So we keep talking about stuff. And then I said, well, so you've never met Nate? And he goes, no. And then somewhere along the way, it kind of hits me. I don't think this is Larry the Cable Guy. (laughs) (laughs) I have no idea who this is. And now there's some fan that I've offered up Nate's home. Uh. (laughs) So now I'm trying to figure out who this is. But to be cool about it, so I'm like, where'd you come in from? Because I know Larry the Cable Guy lives in Nebraska. And he's like, I just came in from Ohio. So, But I'm thinking he could have had a show there last night. So then I said... um, (laughs) What you got coming up next? Because that's a common comedy thing. He said, um, he said, I'm going to the studio tomorrow. Um, so now I'm thinking, okay, it is somebody. Maybe I still think it may be Larry the Cable Guy. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> so we keep talking. And then finally it's time to t- tee off so we separate. I immediately called Nate. And I was like, hey, you know Larry the Cable Guy, right? And he's like, oh, yeah. And I was like, well, <laughs> I just told a stranger that, uh, you know. <laughs> and Nate was like, you couldn't recognize one of the most recognizable faces in all of entertainment. <laughs> and I was like, apparently not. He wears cut off sleeves. Yeah. So the whole time out there, the rest of the day, I now avoid this guy because I'm like, I don't even know who I'm talking to, but we're supposed to exchange numbers and set this up. It could still be Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just avoid him the rest of the day and I, I never see him again and I get out of there. And then when I got home, I, uh, I texted Reno Collier and said, hey, who is the celebrity in the group in front of us? And 
it was Cletus T. Judd. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, I've worked with good. many times and act like we're old friends because we are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> we know each other very well, uh, but somehow I got him confused. I must be the racist, most racist guy in America. I can't tell two white guys apart. Yeah, yeah. So the point, bottom line is Cleese TJ could not have been nicer. I mean, he yeah. is a great guy. And he's probably coming on the podcast someday. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm a fan of him, too. I like him, too. Yeah. Uh, if she, yeah, when I was a kid, he had that uh, If Shania Was Mine song. Yeah. 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 That, was a, that was a big hit. Yeah, yeah. we all, I mean, he's a great guy. Yeah, he's and, great. And, uh, but somehow I thought it was Larry the Cable Guy. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Cletus. Uh, that's awesome, though. That makes that's it. so funny. Brian Bates, musical artist. I'm a big fan of you. I yeah. can see. <laughs> he was texting me during this. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I was like, I just hope it's not. Oh, you're talking about me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. texting. Yeah. But we also talked out yeah. there. Because I yeah, immediately yeah. went back to my golf cart and Googled Larry the Cable Guy, Ohio, hoping to find that he was there last yeah. night. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't find anything. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Bates, musical artist. What do you got? What's your music? <laughs> yeah, what's the songs? Yeah, I don't know. I was just sent the screenshot. Mm -hmm. Well, there was one. Oh, right that's there. A screenshot. Oh, okay. It's not. That's uh, an author. You were sent the screenshot? Mm hmm. Yeah. Tristan Aaron oh, dropped it to me. Oh. Oh, wow. All right. Mm. Aaron Land doing some work. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Behind the you scenes. You have an assistant for the computer. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it. too much, so. You got busy. Yeah. All right. So, speaking of Cletus T. Judge, but this week we're talking about <laughs> superheroes. You're a superhero. Yeah. So, the number one movie right now at the box office is Black Adam from The Rock. Okay. Been number one. And then. He's working. Yep. <laughs> He found a bit, bit of a drought for him. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then this weekend, uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever comes out. So superhero movies are they're starting to take off a little bit. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh yeah. The rock is like you almost think you're like, is he all we got for <laughs> entertainment? <laughs> like this. Might he's be. got a TV show now that they just show like it's just basically, like, I guess we just do The Rock over and over again. Yeah. And we have him do other things. Uh, that's if someone. A lot of rocks. A lot of, we do a lot of The Rock. I'll tell you that. That's what we do The Rock the most. You know, if someone flew down and aliens came, they go, what do y'all watch? We go, we watch The Rock. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. only watch The Rock and we watch him do different, different things. He does all the remakes. He does all the remakes. You're like, who is it? It's The Rock. It's one guy. We make him do everything. A lot of people say that if we had to pick one, person to represent Earth. the world to aliens they'd pick the rock i don't know if i'm in that crew it is funny no, to think that that, that would sense. people say that that it's a wrestler <laughs> yeah too. you know he started off the only to, real successful transition from wrestling to movies and now he's like the most successful yeah 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 uh i'd say i'd send stone cold steve austin for it's in the rock <laughs> <laughs> you stun him yeah yeah you don't want the rock up there you go they would take him. He'd be in their movie. You want Stone Cold to bust in there and give him the stunner and just cause Well, he would trick chaos. him drinking a beer. And then yeah. right when they turned, he'd stun like, him. This guy's a good guy. <laughs> Glass break. I don't know who you would send to represent. Like, uh, but I, the rock's, definitely not The, the Rock. But yeah. he's charming. and Yeah, but I, he doesn't. He's just a movie star in every movie. Like, I don't think he. If you got to think that's going to represent. That's. I mean, that's our giant man. Like he's, that does not, that's not a, a representation. Yeah. You go. So all of you are like this. You're like, yeah, we're, I mean, maybe if you want to fake them out to be like, make them rethink coming yeah. down, then I mean, send the rock and then go, this is what y'all do. Cause he goes, I'm one of the smaller ones. Right. You almost want to send Paul Giamani, something like that yeah. to be like, oh, it gets better from here. He comes, he, yeah, he got, uh, I just said, so, didn't he comes from a ton of money. Paul Giamatti? Yeah, I just someone just told me that. I don't know. That I don't know if that's sense. true. That makes sense. Yeah, it's. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I want to say like it's because uh, we were talking about like like actors that come from money, and uh, yeah, I, I don't think doubt that at all. Won. Yeah, yeah, it seemed like it because they really tricked us into the Paul Giamatti thing with the movie Sideways. Mm -hmm. you remember when that came out? Yeah. Everybody was like wanted to drink wine. Mm -hmm. Even I got into a little wine after that. Yeah, I'll do a couple of glasses of wine and switch to liquor. It's always a good choice. <laughs> I'm trying to. Th I, I'm just thinking about who to send to represent America. <clears throat> uh, if you want to go like this, kind of wraps it up. That's a Kid Rock. <laughs> <laughs> you go. Uh, uh, we got rap music, country, we're a, a little bit of everything. Here you go. Here you, go. you know. 
Yeah, yeah, like Kid Rocky's like rich, but he also, I think, kind of like lives in a trailer. Somebody says he has a trailer with like an underground bunker. That's yeah. my dream. Paul <clears throat> Giamatti's yeah. dad was the president of Yale and also the commissioner of Major League yes, Baseball. Yes, that's it. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bart Giamatti. Yeah. I never yeah. put that together. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Angelo Bartlett Giamatti. Arthur Smith, the head coach of the Atlanta Falcons, dad is started FedEx. And yeah. Home Depot, I think. Now, that's uh, Arthur Blank, the owner no. of the Falcons. But yeah. Our, the head coach of the Falcons is a billionaire <laughs> a just for his dad. Out here. Wow. Yeah. Good for I'm him. trying to think if you would send. I think about you. Of, You're the greatest average American. That's true. I should go. I'll talk to him. Uh, but like not a celebrity. Yeah. So come on now. <laughs> I'll support it. Yeah. Don't send me. I'll be like, I don't believe that you're from another planet. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They go. They go, we already got you up here. Uh, you're who they've been abducting yeah. for years. <laughs> a bunch of yous. I'll go up talking about Jesus. You yeah. know what I mean? You got to gotta, gotta uh, get, get out of here. But who would you, I don't know if you, would you send, uh, you probably send a historian or something, like someone that can tell you about it. But, yeah. if you, but if it is like you want them to represent to be like, this represents America. I don't think it's the wrong. Well, what are they being sent to do? To negotiate peace talks? No, I, I think it's like just being like, you know, if it's like probably a time capsule. If you had to send a time capsule of something and you're like, we want to send this. Like, you know, they always said Seinfeld, the TV show would be like, watch that. That oh, was like okay. the 90s, like yeah. or something. Uh, but if you had to send, say, a person in the time capsule to be go, we're basically all this. I think David Spade. Yeah. David Spade <laughs> dressed as Joe Dirt. Yeah, that's who you send, but not everybody's like that. So you got to get some. But but then Spade could do both. Yes. Yeah, Spade could do both. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Meryl Streep. Mm-hmm. Right. What, what? What's your reason? You got to have it? some. Well, she she's played every role. Okay, that's true. You just she don't want to play it. <laughs> but I don't, yeah, <laughs> I didn't say. I just I've, you just threw it out there and didn't give us any info. You know? Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I was yeah. Waters. Yeah. I, but you know what? Some of that I, I I would think they're going to make fun of the South. She'll go, and then we have these other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. God, why did we send? And her? the aliens like, yeah, we know about. That yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. They go, no, yeah, the ones that they're the ones that see us all the time. And go, we can't get by them. Maybe that's why it is. Southern people are crushing it. Yeah, because we don't let you buy. Right, yeah, right. the UFOs. Mm-hmm. You get it together. You know. What do you mean? Don't let them buy. We see them. We see them all. Oh, and we're not afraid to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And everybody else thinks they see something, but they're embarrassed. That's true. We're something. outside more often, too, probably. Out, yeah. Yeah. We got good eyes. Mm-hmm. Like good raccoon eyes. Raccoons have good eyes? I bet so. I bet they do. Yeah. What about uh, Jimmy Carter? He shakes everybody's <laughs> hand. Jimmy Carter. He's been old Jimmy now, Carter though. now? He's 98, but he was he's good humani- humanitarian effort. And uh, he's that old now, though. 98. That's... Some people like didn't like him as president, though, right? Yeah, he, he would die up there, and the aliens are like, "We he died on yeah. his own. We didn't yeah. do this. We did not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the travel alone. He was old when you sent him up here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, "Is this y'all's baby? <laughs> y'all's baby version is like this." He goes, "No, nah, that's the end. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the end of it." <laughs> Jimmy there Carter saw a UFO. Did he? Yeah. Uh, and he go. did admit it till way later in life, right? Maybe. I think he was like governor or something when he saw it or running for – this is like in the 70s. but Yeah, that's when his presidency started to – once he admitted he'd but, seen it. Oh, really? Yeah, they started trying to take him down. I don't know. Oh, no. Doesn't that sound like something? It sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah. Can't be having this UFO stuff. Right. Yeah, all right. I don't know if I'll see. It seems to think someone – I would, who would, but I, I, it can't, like, who represents just, it's got to be a mix of everything. Mm-hmm. Got to be a mix of everything. Can we assume, this will make things way easier, can we assume that they have some kind of technology where language is not an issue? There's no language yeah. barrier. No, no. So we can have You're, conversations. You want just, if you got to think, California to New York to the South to Montana to Dakotas to, like, who do you send? So it's just America, though. Just America. Mm-hmm. Who do you send? That is like kind of like everybody would be like, we're fine with that. Everybody's got to agree, man. So, I mean, I understand the rock on likability. So, like, maybe we could all agree that we're like, okay, because everybody likes the rock. Yeah. 
So I understand that. Tom Cruise. But for a country that is... I send Tom Cruise. Well, he's not Scientology. He's probably done he's it. He's already talking to aliens. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a good thing. <laughs> well, like, we're the most overweight country, right? Mm-hmm. So you can't... No, Mexico beat us. Did they beat us? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we're absolutely. back and forth with Mexico. Right, right, yeah. right. It's a yeah. battle of the juggernauts. Yeah, yeah. 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 So well, yeah. Uh, it's tough to send, like, possibly the most in-shape guy. Is it, is it because of the... They're coming over the border. The skinny ones can make it over the border. I'm sorry, I thought that joke was probably too mean, but it was. That's what I thought. Of. Just go. They're 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 literally getting fatter just because they're they're the ones that can't get over the ones it. trying to climb the wall. <laughs> they try to climb the wall and they go, I can't do it. And then they they're losing their skinny people. Just I mean, rapidly. <laughs> I don't that I don't know if people get mad about that one. I think it's the corn. It's, that was funny. It's the corn. Was, we love corn. We love corn. Corn. Yeah. Both Ooh, sides. You think it's the corn. Mm-hmm. It's the corn. Interesting. The bad that makes us fat. Yeah. 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 Hmm. They got they get, yeah. I mean, we're eating corn syrup. Mm-hmm. High fructose. Yeah. Nonetheless. Mm-hmm. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks would be all right. That's a good one. one. Yeah. I don't like him that much. I don't, I don't either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. It's gonna mm-hmm. be tough. <laughs> okay. This is this Joe is- Rogan. Yeah, he's not polarizing at all. No, no, but, but to go the country. Yeah, yeah. But it would be I mean, a lot of people listen to him. Oh yeah, and then he's like, he was a you know a host on. He lived in Hollywood. He would know all the stuff. It's good yeah, at having conversations with good people. Good at conversations. Yeah, right, right. already believe way in on it. Right. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'd take him. Yeah. Bozo the clown. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Ronald McDonald. Yeah. yeah. Do you know Bozo the clown? It's a name I've heard. I know that it's a clown, but I'm not familiar what it's from. I can't visualize it in my head. Is it just like a clown? <laughs> Is it from a movie? Yeah. It's Bozo, the, it's the number one clown. Bozo the clown. I don't know if he's bigger than Ronald McDonald. Uh, he was, at, he was, Ronald McDonald's out there selling merchandise. I mean, Bozo was like, I'm a clown, dude. I have my own show. He has his own show. You know those little buckets that you throw a ball and it like bounces? Wasn't that Bozo? Bozo so. seems completely insane, though. Part of that is from Seinfeld, where George Casanza argued, yeah, John Favreau was a clown, and he'd never heard of Bozo the Clown. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I definitely recognize Bozo the Clown. This is the quintessential what about clown Krusty look. the Clown. Mm-hmm. Krusty the Clown, right? From Isn't the Simpsons. That? Simpsons, yeah. That's mm-hmm. Bozo came to Lebanon in nineteen. 19- <laughs> Probably seventy eight, yeah. and my mom that was took a big day, man. My mom took my sister and I to that was a see big it. Day. <laughs> That's Lebanon for you, yeah. And Channel Two News came and filmed it. And uh, at Vacation Bible School, my teacher said, "I saw you on the news," and I mean, it made my year. Oh, oh yeah, wow. yeah, several years probably. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> still has it's the only TV credit I have. So, <laughs> was that like when Bo's? That was in the paper. That was oh, it was a big deal. It was a big deal. Yeah, man. I mean, my mom took me down there. And see you got a stuff. picture of it? Uh, maybe somewhere. Yeah, I'd love mm-hmm. to see it. It's not clear. I'll tell you that. It's pretty blurry, black okay. and white. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It was right when they switched the color. Oh, okay. Man, yeah. <laughs> no, that's probably not true. They had color in the 60s. Yeah. They're not clear, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys, what would you say is the most popular superhero in the world? Superman. Superman. Uh, maybe Spider-Man, but I think Superman. I would have said Superman. Spider-Man, according to yeah. a recent poll. Um Who's asking these polls? I know. Actually, I think yeah, that no back, this, this was Google search. Ooh. Oh, Batman possibly too. Spider-Man was one, Batman two, Superman three. Superman's getting a bad rap. Like It's like they keep trying to make those movies, and I like Superman. Why do people not? It's it's because he's too powerful. This is what they. That's what I feel like they need to do. They need to make more Superman movies where Superman is like uh, just rescuing people. Yeah. yeah. Quit having him fight crazy yeah just let him rescue people well the older superman movies were great you're talking about the christopher reeve yeah yeah so yeah so originally superman well originally superman was a villain the guys who created him was a villain like a mad ah. scientist and then that quickly they're like you know what let's make him a good guy from another planet and then they sold it to <laughs> you know what let's change everything <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> These guys are right out of high school. Yeah, he they flies too now. Yeah, go, all right. Grew up on well, a farm. That don't, don't, like, don't get ahead. That sounds oh. like scientist. So <laughs> they're like, "Now nah, we didn't do this." this they sold it for one hundred thirty dollars to DC Comics for the right to this. Man, and it's um, worth more than that now. 
a little bit, a little bit. They sued later on to get more money. Of course. So <laughs> Superman at first could not fly. You know, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Mm-hmm. Up has got faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful locomotive, able to leap tall buildings, single bound. Yeah. He couldn't fly. He could just jump really high. Okay. And then this other competing comic book came along and they had uh, Captain Marvel. Not the Captain Marvel. We have there's a Captain Marvel now. This is a different Captain Marvel. And he could fly. And then people started reading those comic books and they're like, well, this guy's even more powerful than Superman. So then DC were like, well, we're going to make Superman fly. So this kept going for a while. And then it got to the point where Superman was so powerful that people lost interest. Because it's like, what's the point? He can do mm-hmm. anything. Mm-hmm. He could, you know, destroy planets with a punch. <laughs> he could, yeah. it was just so ridiculous. And then uh, comic books started to wane in like the 50s and 60s because like nobody cares. Uh, Batman became more popular because he was a little bit more identifiable, I guess, in a way. And then um, Marvel came along in the 60s, and Stan Lee started creating characters that were more for adults, not just for kids. And that's when Spider-Man came along and, you know, like real people who just something happened to them and now they got to deal with all these powers and stuff like that. And they start arguing. And then the movies, uh, yeah, Superman, Christopher Reeve in the 70s, then they made it. That's when they were like a hit, and it kind of took yeah, off. Yeah, those again. were great. Mm. And um, not great now, but they were great back then. But to your point, the recent ones they've gotten so dark that there's no rescuing somebody from a tree or yeah. or anything. It's just let's get as dark as we can immediately. That's why, like an origin story with Superman, is always good because you see him like growing up, rescuing people, fighting, beating up like bullies. That kind of stuff's always fun. Well, I always thought, why didn't he play football? Yeah, I mean, I think about that actually, probably pretty often. I uh, think in the Christopher Reeve one, they sh- there's one scene with football. yeah, yeah, he kicks a football, yeah, and it keeps. But it's like I know he couldn't, but like I think about it all the time. I'm like, can you imagine if he would have played? Like it's just in the show Smallville. Mm-hmm. Where it's about his teenage years, yeah. he plays on the football team. Oh, but he makes an agreement with his parents, if I remember correctly, or maybe it's just with himself. He's like, "I'm not going to use my powers yeah. on the football field because I'll just yeah, yeah. What's the point? Yeah, then, yeah. What am I even doing here? Yeah. One episode, he gets the ball, he runs like 50 miles away, saves somebody, and runs back so quick that they don't even recognize he's been gone in the play, and then scores a touchdown. Oh wow! So that's why he just do whatever was he, he wants. He was all state. He <laughs> I'm sure yeah. he was pretty good. I yeah. mean, Kansas. Yeah. Come on, there's not that many yeah. players. How do you play and like try to play hard but not use your powers? Like, where yeah. where do you draw the line? Yeah, yeah. where you're like, mm. I'm only gonna be regular strong. Yeah, yeah. You, you got to have a, a switch yeah, and you turn gotta, it off. It's gotta be modes. Yeah, yeah, it's like you gotta just be. It's like probably jogging and running. Like you just in sprinting, like you yeah. just kind of go like I'll just jog, and then you're like, oh, got but tackled. Like, like say you're the running back, and it's you're on the goal line, and you're like, oh, I know that I could get it in, but I'm just gonna like go light at it. Yeah, Whoa. would he get tackled? I don't. Even I don't know. know. I only remember one scene in my head of him. Yeah, just doing whatever he wants. I think he gets to play, but all the other team has kryptonite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try to find a clip of him playing yeah. football. Yeah. Uh, you'll like this, Dusty. It's a little Adam Sandler thing going here. All of Superman's love interests are LL. Oh. Mm. There's Lois Lane, of course. But then on Smallville, there was Lana Lang, his high school sweetheart, Loris Lamaris. <laughs> uh, and then Lex Luthor is, of course, his, his enemy. His enemy, yeah. Because your wife becomes your enemy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, he dated Lex, and then <laughs> things change. No, I'm just saying that's why it's all LLs. Yeah. No matter what, even in marriage, your spouse becomes your enemy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone who's played Superman, or at least up until recently, something really bad's happened to him. Oh. George Reeve, who played it on the TV show, uh, he committed suicide. Christopher Reeve, of course, was paralyzed and died. Uh, some other people had some- Dean Cain, just people started not liking him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like that would happen to Dean. That show did good too. It did, yeah. That was yeah. what is it? Lois Clark? and Clark. Lois and Clark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Terry Hatcher. Yeah. 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 A comedian told me he went uh, up to uh, Dean Kane at an event to meet him, and Dean Kane was like, "Are you buying something?" And he was like, "No." And he goes, "All right, move on." <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, Superman briefly had a mullet. Ooh. 
Old yeah. Joe Dirt. Yep. So we, we talked about on a previous episode, he died in a battle with Doomsday. And then, of course, they brought him back. When he came back, he had a mullet. <laughs> yeah. Who? What happened to the first Superman, you said? That, what, like, in real life, yeah. what happened to him? Yeah. He committed suicide. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he apparently could fly, but my dad would always talk about that, like how Superman now just takes off from the ground. But the old Superman had to run. Yeah, do a run and start. Yeah. Had to kind of get going. Yeah. Now yeah. Superman just... You just see him run. He's like bouncing like that, like the <laughs> yeah, first airplane yeah, taking yeah. off. He's like, I almost got it. Well, they yes, that's what the problem with all these super. Oh, was it Lewis and Cl- oh, they were explorers. Never they mind. were explorers, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. not the airplane people. The Hulk, same thing happened. The, <laughs> the Wright brothers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Hulk, they just kept making him stronger and stronger and stronger to the point where no one cared because it was ridiculous. There was World Breaker Hulk where. He would just take a step and the earth would crack in half and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And, and people were like, what's the point? It became so ridiculous that it wasn't even fun. Mm-hmm. That's what I think are great about the Marvel movies. They they all like they all have a weakness of some sort. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh I saw like uh Matthew McConaughey on Instagram and like posted something about who he liked superheroes, and I just some read read it and he said the whole but like with him, everything he says, it's like a th- whole thing. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. It just, it, it like goes, he's like, I like the Hulk. He goes, because, I mean, I didn't even watch it. I only saw two seconds. Cause I, I can't. I, I can't. This can't be some message. Yeah, it's like all it, philosopher McConaughey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was there and a message? I like him. He could, be, well, he could be someone you send. That, that yeah, could actually he, be. Oh, yeah. He'd weird him out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of get them on their toes. Like, yeah. what is this guy? All but about? he's almost, he could be, he could, he could be one that could be sent. Cause I mean he's you know he is from the south. He, I feel like he's he could he can somewhat talk to both sides, you know, like uh, yeah. But yeah, he does. His Instagram, he's like, he's I like told. He goes because when I it's like all this big thought out, and you want to just be like, oh my gosh, I just want to. I should have never said anything to you. Like I should have. Do you want rice? That's what I meant to ask. <laughs> what do you want to eat? It might have been his story. Do you ever like see recent. his video? His first ever video on Instagram, like where he's introducing himself to uh, Institute. Yeah. He's like, I'm looking forward to this, man. Yeah. He's like, I'm looking forward to seeing if uh, who I am translates, you know? Yeah. Seeing if I tickle your funny bone, make you think. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Like, what is going on? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I, but I bet, I bet, I bet if you meet him, it's, I mean, it's the best. I'm sure he's great. I think it's got to be the best. He's thing. a guy, uh, though, that if he's not attractive, everything he says is creepy. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. It's like too much. Yeah, like he's like, I want to see if what I'm saying tickles your funny bone. If he's a, like, well, that's yeah, a weird that's looking enough. dude, you're like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> see it if who I am translates. I think I'm trying to sh- shut down Instagram. Did I say that? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or not shut it down, but I need to just as a. You talked about it. I talked about it. On the off, podcast? No, off no, camera. Off, yeah. yeah. Off the record. I'll bring it on the record. I'm trying to. <laughs> it's. Uh, because I think it makes you think, like I'm trying to create a new act, and it makes you think, uh, like, kind of short. Like, yeah. uh, you're, it's very quick. You think quick. You're looking for jokes. Like, you just think of, like, uh, this is a funny, quick thing. Like, it's not, like, an act. And your mind is, like, just kind of, like, just, like, kind of devouring that kind of stuff. Oh, oh, you mean, yeah, just watching it. Watching Yeah, yeah, just watching jokes. it. Like, yeah. I think it's, like, getting me into, like, you think everything thinks quick. So then I'm like, well, I need to, like, not be on it. Because uh, Espe- at least until, you know, my special comes out. Especially if you try to, like, cater all your material for Instagram. If you're trying for yeah. Instagram material, which I think a lot of people are now. I mean, who doesn't yeah. want, you know, everybody wants their hits, but. Yeah, but, I, like, I'm not trying to make it for Instagram, but, but when you're watching all you're watching is stuff that's made for Instagram. You then you start thinking like that. Totally. Yeah. yeah. One minute. And it's segments. like, yeah. And I don't want to think like, like right now I'm like, I can't be thinking like this. And I'm, that's, yeah. that's the problem. So. Dusty, are you more of a Marvel guy or DC? I'm mm. Marvel all the way. I mean, I'm pretty bored uh, with all superhero stuff because it's like, I mean, 10 years ago or more when it started coming out, it was so exciting. But yeah. now it's like, I mean, it's all the movies. That's, That'd been 20 years ago. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's all the movies now. I mean, oh, it's, yeah. when Endgame ended, I was like, all right, this is where I'm done. And then I'm like, I'll watch some here and there on a plane or something, but I'm I'm really done keeping up with the 
Mm-hmm. But you are a big superhero fan. Yeah, I love those. I mean, I had a bunch of comic books as a kid. I still got a bunch of comic cards. I should have brought the cards. I got so many cards. They're so fun. Um, good you didn't bring them. Yeah. Um, a good you didn't bring them. I, don't know if you, I, think. I mean, they would be I great. As, yeah. Yeah. It would have been nice for the superhero episode. But yeah. That's okay. Yeah. I mean, they're great. They're great. Yeah. I have three good collections of superhero cards. Full yeah. collection. That's so great. Wow. I'm sure we'll do another something attached to superheroes. Yeah, and I'll bring them. <laughs> yeah. And you bring them then. I'll bring them then. Yeah. Um, but the um, I loved it. I just, so I never, but I'm not, never been a huge reader, right? So I didn't really read the comic books. Yeah. Quotes. He uh, did quotes around reading. Yeah. <laughs> So people, it's not, not people real. that are quote listening, uh, yeah. So I would watch them. So now I would look at them. I would look at the books. Punisher was my favorite, which mm-hmm. was the most disappointing of all the Marvel shows to me because I was so excited. Uh, but um, the movies, so you get to see these comic books come to life, and it's so great. But now we're all into comic books that I don't remember, and yeah. And every it's all getting all witchy now too. I mean, I watched that Doctor Strange multiverse of madness. I'm like, well, this is I'm mutant parts because I'm like, I don't want to hear your spells. I'm not trying to get out <laughs> of the spell, you know? Yeah. I get it. You know, like WandaVision, I love that show, but as it got to the last couple of episodes, it got real witchy. And yeah. I would I would completely mute it. I was like, I don't know what you're doing here. Yeah. I don't know what well, you're, you're not, summoning you're up. Not, you're not summoning yeah, things in my it. house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You get everybody. You make everybody sleep with head, uh, like those headphones we had Eleanor on. Yes. Yeah. Like kind of like a metal around them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we did uh, – I posted it on uh, Instagram, but YouTube, we did the, like a haunted – we like haunted house – but then Justin Schubert, who films all that, he was like doing the thing where you talking in the recorder and say, hey, are you, and listen for the answers. And we did it, and I was like, it was fun and funny at first, but then the more I've thought about it, I was like, ah, I didn't like that. Like, yeah. I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't. I like going to see like a haunted thing, or that if it is haunted or something like that, but then it was like talking to him, you're like, eh. Yeah. You're like, D- Nickerson was like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, I'm not having it. Yeah. And I was, you know, when I thought back, I was like, I don't know if I should have been. But, you know, well, you have some now. weird dreams now. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. Too late now. You brought it here to the studio. Yeah. <laughs> well, my mom brought some toys that I had as a kid one time, and they were like these little, like, I don't know, weird, like, kind of medieval toys where it was like a minotaur and all this stuff. And I was like, oh, and then the box, it was real old. The box smelled weird. And I, I don't know what it was, but I was like, oh, this is, oh, this is fun. I remember these, and I put them in a closet. And then that night, I had a dream about something i had a dream that i was upstairs in that room where that closet is and my tv kept cutting on and i kept turning it off and then the tv would come back on i'm like why does this tv keep coming on and then i woke up and i felt so weird that i went up there and i got those toys and i threw them in the trash i was like i don't know what that is but it felt like it brought something into the house and i'm like i am not into that and then you think the trash was enough to get it? Was the trash in the house? <laughs> no, no, it was outside. Oh, of course. Uh, I mean, Obviously. I went outside. Yeah, yeah and I think so. I think it got yeah. it. I mean, you know, I prayed, yeah. but I think it. Yeah. Uh, Just the trash get in his room. Just yeah. 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 no, no, it was gone. I was like, this is getting yeah. out of here. Yeah, you yeah, came yeah. back in, and there was back in the house. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the ghosts have would... a lot of weakness. The fact that you can just go whatever the thing they are, you can like, I'll just put you outside, and they're like. All right. Well, I think they could be attached to things, you know? And, yeah. Uh, I don't I No, I know, like but it. I'm saying then you just get it outside and it's like, oh, dude, come yeah. it. it's just like haunting it's just the trash done. can. Haunt the trash can oh, all you yeah. want. He locked the door, too. He locked the door. Uh, I'll give that to the trash man that you want me to fight. Yeah, yeah. Pay, pay him a little oh, extra. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now there's a uh, <clears throat> the Superman comic book. His son has taken over, Jonathan. And <laughs> Superman has a son? Jonathan Kent. Jonathan Kent, he goes by John, and oh. he uh, John Kent. He's uh, oh, John and Clark. Does he have a name, like a superhero name? Uh, Superman Junior. Superboy. The sh- the, it's called <clears throat> Superman, son of Kal El, and uh, I think he's Superman himself. Now he's in a same sex relationship, and um, so he's come out as bi. And the things now he fights is he combats wildfires caused by climate change. He stopped a high school shooting, and he protested the deportation of some refugees from Metropolis. There you go. <laughs> okay. That sounds about right. Well, it sounds like if he's Superman, though, he just could stop all those things. 
You don't need to really. Well, he stopped. He stopped the high school shooting. If you're protesting anything as Superman, you're not like really utilizing your powers. Like, why protest? Just stop it. Yeah. Imagine being on a protest with Superman, and he's like, "Let's stop doing this." And they're like, "The other people are like, why don't you just Just stop stop it?" it. Yeah. But I mean, that's that's him. Just like saying, "I'm taking over the world and breaking these laws," and that's not Superman. He. Oh, honors the government. But this is John Kent. Yeah. This is not this Clark. Is yeah. This is a new age of Superman. Yeah. The stuff that I think, you know, Superman, that age group is going through with their kids. That kind of like, he's like, I'm into protest now. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Here we I, go. Yeah, I'm not saying Clark supports it. Clark's probably, like you said, he's rolling his eyes. Lois, this is your son. I guess yeah. I'm just saying, if I'm a protester. <laughs> I told you, you should move back to Kansas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I'm a protester, and yeah. Superman's out there with me <laughs> protesting. I'm like, just f- do something about it. Yeah. <laughs> just blow w- blow a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Freeze some people yeah. out here. Yeah. Just <laughs> stop global warming. Just <laughs> yeah. Blow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just figure his ice caps are melting. Okay. <laughs> go. Just fade him a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> go ice them, dude. The, and yeah. Put the, back to- Christopher Reeves' uh, Superman froze an entire lake. With his breath, and yeah. then carried that leg to put out a fire. Yeah, yeah. this new Superman's stuff. protesting. The new one says that's what we should do. Yeah, and you yeah. go, yeah, but you should, you can do it. Yeah, and he goes, I don't, I shouldn't have to do it. <laughs> right, right, because <laughs> he doesn't feel it. Right, yeah, because he could be anxious. That's true. That's the new true. Superman that could be true. anxious. That's what they should do: is create a new Superman that's he's like, I don't. I just don't like going fast. Yeah. And they go, okay. But <laughs> like it's someone's gonna fall off that building. He goes, I'll get there when I get there. <laughs> That's not my responsibility. And it's a superman that <laughs> does not solve anything. But he's on just I mean, every morning he gets up uh and just got a sea of medication before his mirror. <laughs> so he attacks the day. He's but none anxious. of it works because his yeah. body's too strong for it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That'd be fun. <laughs> There's now, uh, I guess there was just a movie, an animated movie about super do- dogs or super pets. And Superman had a dog, Crypto, and he had the intelligence of a human. Not very creative. They just yeah. named all of it, like everything. That's also what he calls his money. Yeah. <laughs> Cryptocurrency. Yeah, isn't crypto, that's what hurts him too. Yeah. And so he calls his dog Crypto. But he's from Krypton. Oh. Yeah. Man. Oh, good thing he left then, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dangerous place. Yeah. Uh, That's what we need is super dogs. Yeah, what would the dog do? Um, I think he had a lot of the same powers as Superman. It's, wow, that know, seems that terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> He's whistling. <laughs> He's just gone. Yeah. Throw a ball. He goes and gets it in California. A dog, what is the point of a cape? Because this mm, dog has a cape. Drag. <laughs> I think yeah. it's a advertisement. <laughs> Because otherwise you're like, well, is that Superman or is that just Joe Blow up there? Yeah. Right. But you if know. he's got a cape. For the purpose of the dog, I'd say he's right. There's a lot of superheroes that wear capes, though. Yeah, but I'm saying what I is, know. I yeah. know. It's just So many that sometimes costume. they'll say not all superheroes wear capes. Yes. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. I would. Uh, <laughs> That's where Spider-Man's like, yeah. I'd wear a like cape, me. but I would be like, I would have like some sleeves. <laughs> I'd want a full suit. I'd want to. Yeah. That's like in the Wolverine movies, they never have him have the hat on. You know, in the comic mm-hmm. books, he always had that kind of helmet, the full yeah. yellow suit. And you never get that. He always wore the suit under Superman would wear yeah. it. They all they but that would be uh, you know, does he ever take it off? Well, I think he wears it to work. Yeah. Um, but I mean, he's got to put that on in the morning. It's super tight. Yeah. Yeah. It's not comfortable. But I guess he's so strong that like when you pull socks, it's just he does it so much faster. Yeah. Well, he used to go into a phone booth, change. And- yeah, but he would have it on. Already. I know it, but I'm saying he can't do that anymore because there's no phone booths. Yeah, where oh, did he true. put his suit? Why would he have to go to a phone booth to change if he's just wearing? He got to take his clothes off. He doesn't. See he doesn't people. want. Yeah, he don't want people <laughs> yeah. to know Clark Kent just turned don't into phone booth see through. Yeah, it didn't make a lot of sense, but <laughs> no, he does it so quick. I mean, then why even go into a phone booth? Just- yeah. Because you just there's a phone booth right there. Well, you go not not going to a phone booth. Change if you if you wanted to change and you saw a phone booth, I think you'd go in yeah. feel a little comfortable. A little modesty right. there, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But if I were just changing into something that I'm wearing underneath this, I'd just take it off. <laughs> yeah, but if I you didn't want me to know you're the guy that 
is the guy. Yeah, well, jump up to the moon real quick, change, and then jump back down. Or just go to the bathroom. Yeah, but it's like a whole thing. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I think that phone booth is anonymous. If you go into the bathroom, they're like, I saw Clark just go in there. And then Superman comes out, and you're like, what happened to Clark? Yeah. Yeah. And Superman's like, he didn't go in there. You could say, well, there's multiple people in that bathroom. See, a phone booth, though, is you're, you're like... Wait a second. <laughs> Maybe I saw that, Clark going. He goes, "No, you didn't." He goes, he goes, <laughs> Maybe that's because I walked to that phone, but there's 15 people in there. He goes, "Go in there." <laughs> Maybe that's the reason for the double toilet in the stall. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. Ooh, so Clark ooh. and Superman can yeah. both go in there. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Figured it out. Yeah. In the 90s, Marvel was about to go bankrupt, and Michael Jackson tried to buy them so he could play Spider Man. <laughs> All right. But they, uh, I guess they figured a way to stay afloat and not have Michael Jackson buy Marvel because he was going to take his own spin on Spider-Man for sure. I mean, how much that dude had so much money. Yeah. I think that'd be awesome. That that was, he was a corporation. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's what's crazy, but it was like he was versus now it's corporation. But like that guy, just to be able to be like, I'll buy Marvel. Didn't he buy all the Beatles Mm -hmm. things too? Yeah. What about this? The to- in the, what was it? Spider Man Three, where Tobey Maguire was like the evil Spider Man. He had that dancing scene that everybody references all the time now. Uh, imagine if that were Michael Jackson. It'd be good. It would have been amazing. Yeah, I don't know if I know. Oh, I kind of. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of remember this. It's just so it would all been worth it. I might have checked. It would have totally been worth yeah. it. I like Spider Man a lot. I like Spider-Man I like Superman too. a lot, but Spider Man does. I do like Spider Man. I don't like his attitude. Which one, really? Spider any of them. They're all oh. a little too sassy for me. Hmm. Superman's not. That's a. I'm talking about Spider Man. Oh, oh, you're saying all the Spider Mans are a little yeah, sassy. I don't oh, like his I thought you meant every superhero. Yeah. A little Toby, arrogant, a little sassy. Mm-hmm. Toby Maguire was. They're all so whiny. They're always so whiny, yeah, like, no. oh, I can't get my can't ask my girlfriend on a date, and it's mm-hmm. like, you're Spider Man, dude. Yeah, you should be dealing with you. Still, you just you still shouldn't have your head wrapped around you being shooting webs out of your own body. <laughs> that you should be like, God, I want to go on this date with this girl. You're like, yeah, dude. We're like four months ago. You were a regular person. So let's focus on. <laughs> yeah. How are you already adjusted back to? Every day should be like, I just this is insane. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. you should honestly <clears throat> not even remember that girl just because she's, she's like, where have you been? You're like. You don't know what I'm going yeah, through. I've been dealing right with now. a yeah. lot. A lot of Especially stuff. Especially the latest Spider Man, right? He's gone to space and f- he was dead for a while. He was Did he like, go to space? He went to space with 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 uh, well, Iron Man up he, in a ship and, mm-hmm, and it was mm-hmm. it's like and now you're worried about asking your high school crush on a date? Yeah. You've and done I mean, a lot. You've got to be forty now too. That's <laughs> had to yeah, that's had to have built some confidence. Yeah, how old is? It? I mean, I guess he's just the same. It's a different one, so they're the same. Yeah, so they're always in high school. Every movie they go, let's start this movie again. Yeah, but yeah, in the last one, they're all going to college, right? I think so. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then the last one was fun because they they you know we're getting into the multiverse, which is I don't know, pretty boring to me. But they brought all the Spider Mans into one movie: Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield. And whatever the new guys. Name oh, is, really? All into one movie, and they were all dressed as Spider Man. Yeah, they were. They were. They were Spider Mans from different Dimensions. timelines, the yeah. multiverse, and all the villains that they all fought all came back too. Yeah. <clears throat> so it was pretty fun in that. Well, what sense. are they doing? So they're just doing. That's all that's happening now. Is everything is like, oh, we're on a different timeline. It's just like and- we got the Titanic behind them too. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're just I mean, jamming movies. Yeah, into exactly. Movies. <laughs> exactly. Like that's just it's too much. That's why even the uh, Doctor Strange and the multiverse madness, it's just, they're going, they're all in a different, oh, this is the uh, Doctor Strange of this timeline, and it's it's too much. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Is that what they do? They always say they, that's what they did to comic books. Like, did they used to do this in comic books or something? I don't know. I think so. Mm-hmm. Probably so. I mean... Mm-hmm. They can just do whatever, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, if you want to bring somebody back, just change the timeline of history. And I mean, in the the first Superman, of Christopher Reeve, Lois Lane died, and then he goes flies so fast backwards around the Earth, he reverses time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah, yeah. Could have just done that right out of the gate, but yeah. 
Yeah, why not do that whenever any of the bad guys are coming to town? I could solve a lot yeah. of problems. It could <laughs> yeah. be solved that way for sure. It's probably a lot on his body. I think it was. Yeah, probably warm out. I, I think, think yeah. maybe he wasn't supposed to do that. Like the big day, but yeah. then he just you know. he just did it. Yeah, I think that's what it. It's like you can't mess with that. But he he wasn't supposed to, but he did. Yeah, it. He did it in Harry Potter, the third book of Harry Potter. One of the characters has a little device, a time turner, like an hourglass that you flip over. And it, you just go back in time. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty important for that book, but then it's just never used again. Yeah. And all the other books. you could It could solve literally any problem in the wizarding world with this time turner, but they're just gone. Yeah. Yeah, because time travel makes the plot boring. Yeah. Because then when you can, when no one can really die, then what, why, what are we doing? We're not invested in anything. But Black Widow really died in Endgame. Mm, yeah. Another big spoiler. Yeah. Is that a, was that a big deal? Yeah, it was a pretty big deal. Oh, I don't, I don't know what Black Widow is. But. Yeah, I don't know who it is. Yeah. Well, I, I know was... what you mean. Yeah, and and then you know, and Tony Stark really dies. Yep. But it's like for the Those most part, pretty giant. Yeah, my, that's Iron Man, right? Well, this was yeah. several years ago, though. Well, yeah. it came out after f- the Family Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get to Family Man first. Dude. <laughs> when was uh uh. Yeah, when did that Tony that one came out? Because that was a big. I remember everybody going, "It's crazy." Twenty nineteen, I watched oh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. twenty eighteen, yeah. twenty nineteen. They came out back to back. It was a two parter there. Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> it just yeah, it does. They're uh, great if you committed to the whole nineteen uh, movies or whatever Marvel movies, whatever it was. I don't think I could keep it together. It's it's a full time job. Yeah, watching it's yeah. hard now if you watch them as they came out, but yeah. to get caught up. No way. Well, because I thought like, all right, maybe you go through them and you're like, you go, let's watch them all and go through them and see, you know. But it's like, yeah, you would, yeah. you can't have anything going on. See you on. in 2024. Yeah, you, know? you can't have anything going on. And now there's shows too that's all canon, I guess. Oh, so it's all part that's of That's Star it. Wars. I mean, Star Wars is doing, you know, it's just they got that new thing. And my brother, my dad and brother love it all. Yeah, I've lost, I love Star Wars and Marvel, but I, now it's just it's a full time job with all these shows. Mm-hmm. I didn't yeah, haven't seen weird. Loki. I haven't seen Th- Thor Ragnarok <laughs> is the best. <laughs> yeah. just, it's like you were. I haven't been listening. Last it's like five you minutes. were in another room and you just was in a multiverse. In. <laughs> <laughs> just, just think about my baby. He goes, yeah, yeah. I hear you. It's like a, it's like a full time job to try to watch all this stuff. <laughs> There's some real life superheroes. Um, there's a guy uh, in uh, Seattle, Phoenix Jones, mm. and he's a mixed martial arts guy, and he he walks around in a superhero costume, and nice. he polices uh, <laughs> yeah. polices Seattle. <laughs> oh, this guy's incredible. That guy's, that guy's awesome. really got his work cut out for him these days, though. Huh? <laughs> in Seattle, Seattle's pretty yeah. wild now. <laughs> Maybe it's because we're missing Phoenix Jones. I like that. What did he do? Does he still do it? I think he maybe uh, they if they police have convinced him to stop doing it because <laughs> he was just causing more trouble, making than, too much progress. I don't, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, that's a, yeah. I'm I'm way on board now. Like yeah, like I think he should let him do it. There's a guy in Nashville um, that did I send you that one? The the guy that uh, what's his name? Master Legend. No, I think he's the guy in Orlando. But maybe I didn't send it to you. There was a guy. Oh, yeah, in uh, The Viper? Well, that guy's in Columbia, Tennessee. <laughs> Columbia's got one. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, but anyway, he just walks through. So there's there's a lot of towns that have... How like, are we just breezing over this? Uh, <laughs> so what does this guy do? This says Tennessee's unemployed, which is 10.3% of the workforce. When did this article come out? This came out 2010. 2010. Okay, so July 8th. Very uh, recent. Yeah. Uh, one man in the small town of Columbia who's almost certainly jobless has even become <laughs> a superhero. He's dubbed himself the Viper. He wears a green suit and a mask. No pictures of him in this article, which is pretty upsetting. That's good. I That's, think he's he's, he's that means he's solid. doing a good job. Yeah, yeah. His so far like has only succeeded though. in annoying the local police, <laughs> who say he violates an ordinance against wearing masks in public places. Oh, Boy, was, times have changed. Yeah, times yeah. Have, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. This guy's That's a hero so now funny. just because like, of wearing a mask. Yeah, yeah. This guy's Good for you, buddy. Time. Yeah. He goes, I'm sorry. I was fighting COVID in 2010. <laughs> uh, so what laws, like, if these superheroes were real, what laws would they, I mean, you'd have to have some major 
insurance. Well, just imagine Superman in that one that came yes, out. Yes, that's such a real, like, we brought Dusty in as a yeah. superhero. Well, you're right. I did. Yeah, I feel go. Like Dusty thought Dusty, this. Dusty, go ahead. What? Well, Superman in the first, whatever the one that came out most recently the, the of that series, the first one where he fights the people from his home planet. Right. And, and they completely destroy the city. Yep. I mean, the two of them are shooting through buildings and the buildings are falling down. Or, or the Marvel uh, Avengers movie, the first Avengers, where they completely destroy the city. Mm. It's like, okay, yeah, you saved us, potentially. We don't know what the aliens were about to do. And you completely destroyed the city. And, I mean, probably m- the most people died in yeah. these buildings. Like, And then in Batman versus Superman, the next one, there's a guy who got paralyzed from their fight, if I remember correctly. Probably so. And they were multiple. They went to Congress to like try to stop Superman because he's causing damage. And does anybody uh tally up the damage? I feel like I've seen heard about that or something. Like they go like it would cost trillions of dollars, you know, if these superheroes did so. I what? know well that's not pretty much it. Matt Damon, he's been rescued from another planet three times. And I think they said it would cost like a trillion dollars to to do that. Why Martian and the Martian, and then Interstellar, and then there's one other movie. He might be a good. Is represent- he in Interstellar, or is that Matthew McConaughey? They're both in it. Oh, hmm. I thought I've been thinking That's about watching one. that one. Interstellar's really good. Oh, I've been thinking about doing that one. It was. I see it all the time. I think I've already said this, but I don't even believe the stuff going on in there. But I, it blew my mind. Too. Yeah. Oh, Saving Private Ryan <laughs> was yeah. the third one he got rescued. That was probably a little oh, yeah. bit cheaper. But. Yeah, that was like forty bucks. Yeah. So in Zack Snyder's film, Man of Steel, they yes. estimate that he caused $2 trillion worth of damage and killed 129,000 people. Wow. And do we even know if Zod had bad plans for the planet? I mean, maybe Zod w- wanted to just live down here for a while. I think he said, turn over Superman or we're going to destroy your planet. Wasn't that his message to Earth? Yeah, he just yeah. wanted Superman. Which is a deal. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you, re- but if you said he was going to destroy Earth, you got to be like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Super, its impact was comparable to the the Nagasaki nuke. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, he's uh, a menace. So turn over Superman. So, I, I, yeah, it seems like, well, let's just give up Superman. Yeah. We didn't even know we had him not long ago. Mm-hmm. We were doing fine without him. Yeah, but you, but you, you maybe you need him, you know? Yeah. I well, mean, every time like these it, superheroes show up, right after there's a supervillain shows up. So mm-hmm. you're right back where you started. At least Batman seems <clears throat> to come out to fight the, the crime. He fights crime. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's fighting still, the city that is looks like it's pretty badly run right. and cor- like That's, corrupt. Especially Tim Burton Batmans. Yeah. Those those Michael Keaton ones. I mean, that city looks wild. Yeah. Does does Bruce Wayne leverage any of his billions of dollars to like help improve the city that way? No, he just buys cars. Yeah, that tears up, mm-hmm. that does more damage to the city. <laughs> yeah, goes through buildings. Yeah, yeah. he's got to be like, hey, I got to shoot out under this. He's got to go to the city board to be like, I'm gonna. Uh, I got like a spider type car. If y'all don't mind, I'm gonna do it. Like spider under, <clears throat> I'm gonna come to the Lincoln Tunnel. I'm yeah. gonna go up through that. They go, all right, is it going to be workable after? They go, no, damn it. (laughs) Millions of dollars worth of damage. I don't even, yeah, priceless. The damage is priceless, what I'm going to do. But I pop out. Yeah, just count on not using it anymore. Yeah. They're like, could you just have like a regular garage and stuff like that somewhere? Could you live in New Jersey? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Would you be fine with that? And yeah, he has a car that even drives up the side of a building in one Mm -hmm. of the movies. I think I read one of these cities, either Metropolis or one of those superhero cities, they have like a insurance for the city. I got a superhero who lives here, so we're just going to have a $100 billion insurance policy or something like that. Wow. Oh. Good what insurance reason. company agreed to that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what what <laughs> citizens agreed to pay uh, <laughs> the taxes to whatever it is to cover it? Yeah. I mean, that's like you'd be building a new stadium every day. Yeah. Just every day it would just be... <laughs> We're doing the new dome stand. Oh boy! Your oh. buddy saved all the lines. Yeah, I don't <laughs> yeah. want to complain. Yeah, that <clears throat> that would be a it would be a battle of just going. Well, we could be frozen. <laughs> uh, and you go, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't upset him. Hey, 
you got to move. I mean, no one would eat. The crime would probably be gone because you would just, everybody would be like, we're just moving out of this. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I always think. Like, if, if, if you got Superman in Metropolis and you're the bad guy, maybe just pick a, a city that Superman's not in. Mm -hmm. You know, you yeah, be a villain in, in you know, L.A. Metropolis, Illinois. Like, go, yeah. go check that out. Yeah. <laughs> go to casino. So some unsuccessful superheroes that never took off. Red B. This guy uh, carried trained bees in his belt, <laughs> and he would turn them loose. His favorite bee was named Michael, and he would turn them loose. <laughs> That's what killed it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what killed it. You can't have a bee named Michael. Even in his real life, he was the assistant district attorney, not even the district attorney. <laughs> oh. And he was eventually killed by some Nazis. So Wow. Wow. Oh, whoa. I took a turn. If they yeah. brought it into yeah. the real world, huh? Golly. Yeah. Maybe if he worked a little harder at being a district attorney than training bees. <laughs> Michael. Michael. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michael, over here. How do you even know? <laughs> Which one's Michael? Yeah. <laughs> Mikey. Michael. Michael. <laughs> uh, Bible Man. This was a TV series that lasts for a while. He would go up against deadly sinful enemies and... And he would. How many seasons is that? Nineteen seasons. Oh my gosh! That's hard to say. <clears throat> that was unsuccessful. Wow. Yeah, you're right. It was I mean, uh, the longest running shows on TV yeah. history. I mean, Bible yeah. Man. Yeah, and I looked at some videos on YouTube. It's very cheesy, but they know it's cheesy, so they're not trying to. It's tongue in cheek. Yeah, they're not trying to act. It doesn't like even we think. seem to be carrying a Bible though. Well, yeah, he's sword. got it all memorized. Oh, that's okay. right. I guess. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure he's got it in his pocket. Um, but yeah, uh, Madame Fatale was a guy who dressed up as an old lady. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, I think I opened for her once. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy's own gig. Yeah. <laughs> and is, is Madame it Fatal, maybe? Um, yeah, probably. Fatale, it's spelled F A T A L. Okay. Fatale would be, Madame Fatal would be too on there. You're like, well, I don't know if I trust. You're right. You know, like how would you if that was the name though? You go, you want some cookies from uh, Madame Fatal? You're like, I don't know if I want. Or you go Fatal. You're like, yeah, I have a couple. Yeah, it's probably yeah, good. What um, made the guy decide that he would dress up as an old lady? Um, it's like a Mrs. Doubtfire type thing. <laughs> I want to babysit looks. your kids. <laughs> he wanted. <laughs> he wanted to fight crime, but um, he didn't. He doesn't have any real superheroes power but he's a good fighter so he thought if he dresses up as a woman then it'll be unassuming so uh, that's his superpower he surprises them as sneak old lady. up on people yeah an old Wait, lady he wants to be a superhero but he doesn't have superhero powers <laughs> yeah so then he dresses like a woman and then fights them just with his regular body i think he's a great fighter like just oh. as a person yeah and then they say oh look at this old lady and then he like punches them they're like yeah. that lady packed a punch yeah he's surprised by it yeah, yeah. he uses a cane as his weapon yeah, yeah. So okay. So they, uh, you probably heard if you could have one superpower, flying or being invisible, which one would you choose? They did a poll. Mm. Scientists did some research. Oh, that's good. Well, I think so you just Wichita go, State. Yeah, yeah. I think you just go ahead and <laughs> arrest all the people that want to be invisible uh, because <laughs> flying is the obvious one. If you want to be invisible, you're you got some creepy intentions. Yeah. Well, there's a well, there's a lot Thanks. of I have a lot of follow up questions before I decide. Yeah, can I do I fly at the same speed that I run, or how fast can I fly? Oh, like is it if it's if it's not fast, it's like if know. I can fly if I can only fly at the same speed that I walk. What's the point of that? Well, then I, you're I'll like, I'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, just going upstairs, you could have <laughs> I just getting on a roof. You sold me. That yeah. Way. <laughs> yeah, that's all it took. <laughs> Well, it's like <laughs> going up one flight. Yeah, one I mean, flight is like just a bit of float out to, of here and just be, excuse me. Uh, I, mean, I mean, do you have to flap lines. your arms and do you get yeah. real tired? I mean, that's that's a question. No, it's like yeah. Superman. The speed thing would be tough, though, because it would be like everybody probably knows. And then you're on an airplane. And you're like, well, I only can like fly as like, fast as I can run. And you're like, so it would take me I'm, a week <laughs> to get, you know. Do Yeah, like your friends are like, oh, we're about to drive to this thing. And you're like, no, I'll fly. And then they beat you there. Yeah. 
<laughs> I would I would choose. Invisibility. Well, you would fly every all your directions would be as a crow flies. As the crow yeah. flies. Yeah. As they, so you you would be as Aaron. Flies. Just you'd have to be yeah. yeah as Aaron flies. You have to be a lot of a lot of crow knowledge. Yeah, you still got to carry with, your, your. That's phone. the thing. You'd be with the crows a lot. Yeah, yeah. And that's would be tough. Yeah. Just a lot of crow traffic. It's just, a lot of GPS recalculating. <laughs> recalculating. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it's right or somewhere. I would choose invisibility, and then I wouldn't think about my nose whistle, and everybody would be like. Y'all hear something? Oh, yeah, Brian, yeah. is that you? Are you in here again? Yeah. <laughs> Visibility would be fun. You could do yeah. yeah. All mischievous stuff, though. Yeah. yeah. Hollow Man, you ever seen that movie? Yeah, uh, it got dark quick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. What was that with Kevin Bacon? Yeah. Yeah. You so you could be, you could go see anything. Like you could go see, uh, and you could go inside a prison or something. You could go inside a, like, you know, no one would know you're there. You could go. But imagine getting locked think in. Think about and you're think about the out. act you can do. You could you would be a Vegas act that yeah. would be a magic act that you would be the greatest. I mean, but also flying too. You'd be. Would that. you have to wear clothes? Are the clothes invisible? Interesting. Depends on uh, what universe you're in. <laughs> Which mm. multiverse? Yeah, yeah. What did the poll say? Well, the poll they polled uh, seven thousand leaders. Across the globe, leaders. <laughs> oh, they all said invisible. Then no. <laughs> 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 Did you say leaders? L e a d e r s. Leaders. L-E-A-D-E-R-S. <laughs> so they say I'm a leader. <laughs> this is like some Forbes poll or something. There we yeah. go. And uh, you're a leader. I think so. I like to think so. <laughs> yeah. You want to be invisible or fly? <laughs> they go. I didn't yeah. see that question coming. Seventy-two <laughs> percent chose flying. They want to be seen. They want to get stuff done. Okay. More followers chose invisibility. Oh. They, they want to hide. Oh, so they interviewed leaders and followers. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so company executives and then lower level people. Do you think, uh, do you think uh, the, the right amount of people identify as a follower? <laughs> I imagine there are more followers than those that would identify as a follower. Yeah. It's like a pejorative phrase. Are you a leader or a follower? I guess I'm a leader, you know? How hot is your piss? Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying, essentially, yeah. Pejorative. <laughs> what was that? What do you mean? What does pejorative mean? It has uh, like a negative connotation to it. Mm. Mm. This guy's a leader. Got over, backed away from the table and got, got his college degree back. <laughs> so like, if we had our own superpower, what would it be? Based on our skill set. I was thinking about yeah. you, Dusty. I think every time you raise your hand, we're having a good time, something happens. A joy would come across. A joy. Peace. Yeah. Peace. You'd have to have your hand up the whole time. And yeah. that's the thing, when you get tired, then chaos would... Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I kind of like that. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, you know, literally, it can't be down for a split second. Yeah. It's got to be you know, complete a, chaos. There's a guy in India that has had his arm raised for almost 50 years. Wow. Wow. To honor his God. Really? Yeah, he's like... I want to do it just to honor my God, and he's he's held it up for almost fifty years. And what? And how, how does he keep it up? Well, now he can't lower it. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. the hand is not yeah. in good shape either. I don't even yeah. want to zoom in on it. No, it's, uh, yeah, it's just, he hasn't been getting manicures. You know? I think his fingers are crooked. Oh, yeah. that's the hand. It, yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Yeah. I thought that was a stick holding the tin up. <laughs> Yeah. So it's, yeah. <laughs> Dang, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I admire the dedication yeah. to anything. To do anything for I mean, it says 38 years in this article, but that was mm-hmm. 11 years ago. So mm-hmm. yeah, he's still doing it. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I read one recently where he's like doing it for 50 years. Wow. Uh, he left his job, wife and three children in 1970 to do this. Yeah, I think it imagine it would be a full-time job. <laughs> So, Dusty, you got to take it yeah, up a notch. I mean, you can't hang out with people. Everybody thinks you're asking a question. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Go to a conference. The like, question's at the end. Uh. Comes in, yeah. Yeah. Imagine it's raining, and you kind of get inside the door, and then you're like, everybody's pushed in, but they forget that your arm's up, <laughs> and you get caught in the door. Like, you go, uh, up, oh. up, up. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, I, I'm sorry, man. So he, he's inspired other people to do it, too. they got a bunch of people. Some have done 7, 13, or even 25 years. So he's got a whole generation. God, can you imagine how painful that would be? He said it hurt a lot at first, and then it just, and now his arm just can't even move. It atrophied. Mm-hmm. Stuck in that position. At first. 
how long do you think that period was? Oh, it's got to be years. years. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But I mean, if you're doing it for 50 years, it's like, yeah, you're like, yeah, the first three were bad. <laughs> and then you're like, you're just stuck. I mean, but you know. Yeah. Do you think you ever like, man, I wish I had done the other hand. Yeah. Or yeah. just switch it up. Yeah, maybe just alter it. Yeah. Wonder if Shiva shows up one day and goes, I didn't need you to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, it's, you know. <laughs> It's a bit much. It's his thing. It's his thing. Good for him. Yeah. So, yeah, we got yours picked out. Aaron Goutman? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I would like to know. a strong know. limp. To be able to speak. <laughs> <laughs> you can limp, limp over buildings. <laughs> <laughs> With a single limp, yeah. With a single limp. What were we going to say? Speak other languages? To know every language in the world. That yeah. One that actually is, in theory, it's attainable, but I don't know anyone. That but can. you would be, yeah, like you just know it. You can talk to anybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just know it right away. That'd be very cool. And then I would be the guy that's sent to talk to the aliens. Yeah. Well, like in the Matrix, you could just program your brain to do it. Put in a. But then, like, you know. yeah, at this point too, you're also like, well, I got a phone that we could just I say it, and then you hear it. That's true. And so then there's like right now you would just be like kind of like. You're just expensive when we can have a phone. Like I'm saying, as a superhero, if you speak every language, I think you're, you've got yourself out of a job. You no longer have a full-time job because we're just like doing phones and stuff. The phones are still a little, it's still a little cumbersome. You're yeah. nervous though. Yeah, you're nervous. I am a lot nervous. You know, are you, or if you do flight, you know, we have planes. Does that make you nervous if your thing is No, flight? but that's like a fun thing, but your skill is. Well, language is fun too, dude. Yeah, but I could like, Get on top of a building and do stuff like you're. You got to go. What do you, you got to go see? What everybody's doing? Like every day, he's got to be like, "How is your day?" In forty it's, languages, it's just small talk in every it's language. Just, in the world. Yeah, <clears throat> and then you have to go talk, and then it's like big negotiations, and you yeah. know, and then you start doing it. And the guy's like, "I speak English." Well, in my like, oh. in my scenario, I'm the only one in the world that gets to pick a super. If everybody else gets superpowers, I wouldn't pick that because then I'd feel left out. You yeah, yeah, I mean? I'm saying, but even if you, if that is your superpower, I just think you're nervous for work right now. Okay. I, I still think you're working. Okay. But your heyday. I'm still doing comedy I think in your English. Hey, yeah, your heyday uh, was. Oh, dude, I'd be the comedy. biggest comedian in the world, yes. dude, if I could do. That would be, I you'd be the biggest. Everywhere. You could tour everywhere. But still. Starting to rethink it a little mm, bit? Now I'm rethinking it. <laughs> yeah. Would the jokes translate? You a rain check uh, Asia tour yeah. coming up, you know? Yeah, he they would translate because you would get you would get the references. Yeah. Yeah. So not only speak it, but even the jokes themselves would make still make sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, without that, it's useless. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I, I'd read up on what's going on if I spoke the language. I, you know. I think it should just come. I mean, that should be part of it. If you get yeah. that wish, that just comes with it. You don't have to do any extra work. Yeah. Okay. Why, why put extra work on yourself? You're like, I speak all the languages. I might as well just lump it in with this. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. Power and I, I understand. It. <laughs> and I'm relatable to everybody. Yeah. I mean, I, I I would I think I would go superhuman strength. That's what I would like. But look the same. Not look like the incredible Hulk, but just be able to like people are like, oh man, my car jack broke and I could just come over and lift That's it up. It. Mm-hmm. But be very modest about it. There's a there's one that does that, right? Uh, God, what's his name? I think his last name's Joe. He has a normal name, like uh Jones or <laughs> Oh, those- he's pretty big though. Who are you talking about? Um he had a TV show too. Yeah, on Mar- it was on uh Netflix. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty jacked. Luke Cage. Uh, yeah, Luke, Luke Cage. Cage. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but he's not like uh Yeah, I guess he is pretty big. I guess I mean, I guess Superman is not jacked. Yeah. He's big, but he's not like the Hulk. Yeah, to well to build muscle there has to be resistance, right? But if you have infinite strength then yeah. you wouldn't be ripped. I would think flying, mm. flying would be like I'm just trying to think because I was thinking speed would be fun too to be super fast, yeah, super strong, but flying like would be it wouldn't be bad, it would be bad if if you could fly fast. I mean, you fly to your shows. In the last, I uh, still doing comedy. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Marvel had the Avengers, and then DC did Justice League, and uh, one of them was the Flash. Yeah. You could, but then in it, Superman races him and is basically a tie. 
So then you're like, well, why do we need the Flash then? Yeah. <laughs> he can't do anything. He's just a fast yeah. guy. We already got Superman. Nothing. Superman could do pretty much all of them. There's yeah. really no need for Justice League when you have Superman. Yeah. 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 No there isn't. Yeah. Rant Man. He could be Rant Man. Rant Man. Yeah. 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 Skim Boy. Which is always on rant. And the people just leave because the villains are like, let's get out of here. You could change anybody's mind about anything. That's a superpower. Mm-hmm. Extreme charisma. Mind like reading. Persuasion. I don't know if you'd want that. Though. I know. Mind reading sounds like a, I, it's a curse. Yeah. Yeah. Who would want to read people's minds? That's an X-Men. That's uh, Professor X. That's what he does. Yeah. Okay. Does he like it? I mean, he's a- He can manipulate people too, though. He doesn't just read and hear what they think about him. <laughs> he can speak into their minds. He can make mm. you just freeze. He's that would not be just like, an otherwise normal guy. <laughs> it'd be like YouTube comments uh, in real time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You know? Way worse, too. Yeah. It'd be, you could be <clears throat> like uh, Yoda. Like get like that superpower is Yoda, right? The force. Where you can the just, force. Yeah. Like just be the force, because then you're just like you know. If I'm like one some more water. It's like it just <laughs> I, I'm talking to you, and it just starts pouring right here, and you. Just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great one. Yeah. Or you fly down to the kitchen and make yourself. Yeah. Yeah, because he can fly. Or right, if you have superhuman strength, you just turn over their table. Yeah. And people are like, oh, let's no, get no, this no, guy no. some water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They don't really fly. They kind of bound and yeah. leap a little bit. Enough. Enough. You get around enough. I'll tell you real fast, some really bad villains that didn't work out. The Living Eraser. <laughs> oh, I like that. He's the guy who went around and just erased things, causing chaos. Uh, like buildings? I think he could erase whatever. Yeah. Just whatever needs to be done. Oh, people. I guess he had a rub, oh, wow. rub on you, though. Like physical yeah. things or yeah, yeah, concepts? Yeah. No, it looks like he erased people. <laughs> no, like, not so concepts. That's how he was, yeah. This is from like the he 50s. He could like, erase happiness. Asbestos mm-hmm. lady? We really is- missed an opportunity making this guy like pencil guy. You know? <laughs> like his head's an eraser, his feet are yeah. ink. Oh, look at him erasing this dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. Yeah. Uh, as, asbestos lady? This is before people knew asbestos was bad. <laughs> Mm. So that was her her skill, and then so she was a hero what? until they found out. Actually, this lady's giving us cancer. Well, oh. she was a villain, <laughs> and then they found out that uh, asbestos is deadly and can kill you. So they uh, they diagnosed her with lung cancer. Man. Wow, what were we doing with true? asbestos before that? I always think about it on ceilings and stuff. Yeah. It was like a way to well, seal like insulation. insulation. Yeah, yeah like insulation. Think, yeah, yeah. Uh, flag smasher. He was a guy who was not loyal to any one nation. He would go around destroying it. He was basically Captain America's uh, nemesis. Captain America was all about America, Flag oh, Smasher. Yeah. It's kind of like wrestling. There's a lot of similarities. You got Hulk Hogan, mm-hmm. and then you got the Iron Sheik, or you got somebody that from Russia that's kind of the, the mm-hmm. opposite just to kind of get people worked up. So he just hated all countries? Yeah. I like this guy. That yeah. weapon he has is a lot of fun. The gun? No, no, the uh, spike ball there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Two different iterations of him. Yeah. Here. Yeah, that's fun. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm into this. Yeah. I'm surprised y'all uh, picked uh, funny as a superhero. <laughs> 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 Boom. <laughs> no, I don't know. Boom uh, roasted. <laughs> Boom roasted. Uh, all right. That's it. Uh, Coming out uh, next week. Next week. Uh, so the week of the November seven, eight, something like that. Like it's that. Yeah. Whatever. Nine. I think it comes out on the ninth and the ninth. Uh, so yeah, I'll be somewhere. Louis, maybe in Louisville. A uh, bunch of places. Pennsylvania. All my stuff's up there. Where are you guys at? I'm in my hometown of Lebanon this mm. Friday at Cumberland University. Wow. Same place Bozo plays. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Doing a yeah, show at Cumberland University with Heather Lanch. She's very funny, and it's for uh, New Leash on Life, uh, animal rescue place. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Yeah. Next week, Wednesday, I'm in Memphis, Tennessee. Say, yeah. At, yeah, from Hollywood. At uh, Lafayette's Music Room. I'm sure it's pronounced Lafayette. Lafayette, but if from Alabama, you say Lafayette. Lafayette. Or, or Lafayette. Lafayette, yeah. yeah Lafayette. Lafayette Music Room. And then uh, that weekend, St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, I've done that room before, Memphis. It's that, a lot of fun. Uh, oh, yeah, the yeah. music room? Yeah, it's nice. a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. November 16th. I'll be down there, too. 
That uh, same day? I don't think so. Oh, November God. what? 16th. Uh, <laughs> okay. Like a Thursday or something? Yeah, I think you it's, find a, out I think it's Wednesday. a Wednesday. You find no, out no, you no, got no. bumped. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be I'll be in Washington D.C. at the D.C. Improv this weekend, uh, but I also wanted to say that uh, me and Aaron and Brian have a show in Lexington on January third, wow. February third, February third. Yes, and uh, <laughs> and then I'll be in Atlanta. That that just announced today, but by the time this comes out, that will have been you know further down the road. But uh, uh, February fourth, so the third in Lexington, and then the fourth I'll be in Atlanta. But mm, nice. So those are on sale now. Yeah, go see them. All yeah. three of y'all. Look at y'all. Yeah. yeah. Nice and then uh yeah, so I'll be in Memphis the twelfth and thirteenth. You're Memphis the weekend before. Yeah, the weekend before. Yeah. Uh yeah. That Bryce Jordan Center in State College PA. People come out to that. There's uh it's a big place. <laughs> yeah. But since uh, I announced a couple of things, I just want it, this weekend DC improv. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very fun. All right. It's a great good. Club. I've never been, but they say oh, that place is awesome. They say it's great. No, yeah. no, no, no. The club's great. Yeah, the club is one of my favorite clubs. Yeah, it's uh, it's the the ceilings. Your the stage is higher and the ceilings the ceilings lower, and it's uh, you just murder. Like it's just so the you hear the laugh so great. It's it's one of the best clubs in the country. Yeah. All right. So if it doesn't go that way for me, I'll just quit right after. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That and Arlington Draft House is the other, it's okay. another club there. They have two, DC's got two great, great clubs and like a bunch of other rooms. DC's got a good comedy scene. Yeah, for sure. Uh, all right. Everybody, we love you. See you next week. Bye. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Brian Bates. Oh, oh right. we did, happy, we did birthday. Yeah. Thank you. happy birthday. Yeah, we had all Eleanor. Right. Yeah, we yeah. had Eleanor on for my birthday. Thank yeah. you, guys. So yeah. we had Eleanor. Happy birthday. All right. Thanks, guys. Happy birthday. Boom. Bam. Boom. Okay, I All can't right. do it. That's Aaron's thing. <laughs> <laughs>